y'all know us, so we can stand up those man, real gentlemen. And we standing on business, though. Uh, Welcome to the round table, baby, where the boss is to meet. Get a glimpse in the mirror, gotta know you a king. Get this one thing to show you a made man now. Gotta wear it like a crown. Do you know what that mean? Wanna join the elite? You better be what you claim it to be. You better have your facts straight when you speak. No, sometimes you gotta agree to disagree. Nigga might have to speak on it. You got a whole thumbnail with the team on it. You can stay up in the chat or you can cam up. We can put it on the screen if you saying something. They going crazy in the chat, they gon' ban us. Tell them how you really feel, nigga, man up. No judgment in the handcuffs. Throw him, throw a tantrum. I be wishing I could stand up. The nigga stand up. One thing for sure. We say what they want. Can do what they don't if it's one thing for sure. We say what they want. We do what they don't. One thing for sure. We say what they want. We do what they don't. If it's one thing for sure. We say what they want. What it do? What it do? Yes, yes, yes. People's, people's, people's. Welcome, 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 welcome back. What's up, what's up? One thing for sure. Episode twenty nine. Twenty nine. I am A B. Big O. Weiss. We got another guest in the building. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Yes, sir. Ricky. Pretty Ricky's what they call him. <laughs> hey, you got a regular ass name, man. Well, you, uh, you heard of all our cool names and shit? Like, yeah, right? <laughs> they call me Rag on the street. Okay, okay. Rag, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Sure. He went real Ricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all cool and shit. He yeah. like Arsenio came out shot. Pow. Like nigga, he, he here us shooting all these big Pow. Like that oh, Welcome nah. back, good people, man. Uh like I said, episode twenty nine. Yeah. You know, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We're on our way to two hundred subscribers, man. Yeah. We're on our way. We almost there. Tell a friend, tell a friend. We in here, man. We stepping in this space. Trying to give our perspectives on things, and we're doing it. Yeah, yeah man, it's a slow grind. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, uh, a hard grind. But you know, you appreciate shit when you know, you know, you didn't build that shit from the ground up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we doing this shit together, homies. You know what I mean? And we gonna keep on doing it. But we do need support. We need need y'all to keep on commenting, and liking, and subscribing, and, uh, I mean, share that right, shit. Share yeah, it. Right, Tell right, somebody right, about right. the show, man. You know, man, I've been grinding all week, running on your story. Yeah. We got a few, uh, we got a few shares on Facebook, you know, uh, somebody that worked for MTA and then shout out to my cousin, man. Uh, uh, he got a clothing line. I want to shout him out. Uh, I can't even remember. Timeless clothing. <laughs> Timeless clothing. Okay. Timeless clothing. Uh, Rock Johnson, man. Shout out Rock Johnson. You got to pay huh? for the next one. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. He yeah. on a dollar. Yeah. 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 Ye
right? Mean, <laughs> they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't specify. They don't give That's you the what description. I'm saying. They just say, "Do you smoke?" And I'm like, "Smoke what? Like smoke what? Smoke weed?" So. Right, right, right. Yeah. I don't want her in my business like that. Right. But I tried, I tried to, I tried to hit her. Well, we on like, national TV, just so you know. I tried to hit a little bit. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I used to smoke, you know, black, black and miles and every now and then. I still might smoke a black and mild, but I, I, you know, I hit the cigars, and you know, usually cigars you don't inhale, you just, you know, you just taste yeah, them yeah. or whatever. But she's like, you can still get mouth cancer. I'm like. Mm. Like damn, <laughs> you gonna take away my one? Uh, I'm thinking this is cool. Right, right, right. But she I right mean. though. She right though. You know what, what if saying? we so, use Listerine after we smoke or something? We don't you know still like, get rid of it? <laughs> <laughs> you get mouth cancer from a lot of stuff, probably yeah. though. Oh shit! Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't want no mouth cancer. <laughs> <laughs> mouth cancer sounds so Jeez, sounds yeah. so serious. Yeah, my teeth yeah. already having enough problems. You know, <laughs> I don't need. Uh, I want that none of them. Top- Mm-hmm. From my mouth, to mm-hmm. nothing. I don't need no cancerous. <laughs> okay, Imagine, never mind. I was going to go, never mind. I ain't going to even ask you. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Y'all ain't going to stop. Week, Look, y'all ain't going to stop. Oh, what are you doing right. last week asking us? Uh, hey, man. Uh, hey, 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 man. We on this week. Let's, 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 yeah, we on this week. But nah, man, just to put things in perspective, this is my homie Ricky, man. We've been yeah. knowing each other yeah. since like 13, 14 years old, man. Yeah. Uh, the homie from, from Long Beach, man. Uh, he, I remember he came from Long Beach. Uh, he, he from Long Beach, but he, you moved back to Texas, right? Are you from? No, I went for the summer. And then when I came back from being out there for the summertime, I think that's when we met when I had came back. And then we had to start going to school and all that. You know, we used to ride the bus. Right, right. So you was only out there for one summer? Man, for like, it was the worst little three months of my life. So you was out there for three months and came back sounding like, uh, like I was I'm from North Carolina. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from North Carolina. Because <laughs> like, nah. he had a whole cold. You could still hear the accent slightly, yeah, but. But I always went back, though, back and right. forth. So it's like, you know. I was he born had... there. I was just raised in California. Oh, so, so you, you know, was born out yeah, there. Yeah, that's okay. my roots. So I can't deny, you know, sometimes right, right, right. it might come mm-hmm. out. Like, if a nigga Jamaican, if a nigga, like, you know, every yeah, now and then yeah. they'll say some shit, you be like, hey, right. where you from? Right, yep. You get that tang in that voice. Right. Nah, right. You, your shit was, you had a hardcore Texas accent, like, you know what I mean? Right. And you just would tell, I think, I told you, you, was, you told me Cash, and I think you was a No Limit fan back then. Nah, I was a... Uh, no, I was, yeah, No Limit. You was yeah, a No, no limit, limit fan, yeah. yeah. Then no you limit. went to Sugar so, Free. Just you know the ice cream. No, right. That's all, <laughs> yeah, so all he was like. He was like, he was like No Limit. Because that's what they were listening to at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Limit, time. I'm like. Yeah, that shit was heavy down there, bro. I'm a Wayne yeah. fan, too, though. You yeah, know, Birdman and all that. When you yeah. say you're a Wayne fan, what? Here we go. Where? 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 Here we go. As far as everybody Okay, hold on. So let's let's go into let's go into first let's go into our top five. Right, okay. What's your top five uh rap artists of all time? Shit, I say nigga Pop, Biggie, Wayne, uh And this is in order. Nah, no particular order. Nah, because I just listen to them random, right? You know, who I've been listening to all my life. Like I ain't gonna lie. I be trying to think like, damn, who is my top five? Mm -hmm. And nigga always listen to Pop, always listen to Wayne, always listen to Big. Um Snoop, you know, I usually be like Pac, Snoop, like you, know, you know what I'm saying. So look, Pac, Big, Snoop, Wayne. Um, I probably think I'm crazy, but a lot of nigga don't know. But uh, nigga, nigga Zero, Zero. Yeah, I like Zero. That's a little nigga. Zero, bro. When I was having he, baby he, uh, mama problems. He, you know, helped me out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> hey, I think that song, Zero, what, that Mad Ass City. Yeah, that's my shit right there. Yeah. Nigga Zero. So he, he had a lot of songs about that shit, relationship shit? <laughs> about a lot of shit, nigga. Like right, right, fake right. niggas, just how niggas do yeah. out the street. So is he like well known out there? Hell Houston? yeah. Houston? I mean, like, I know he well yeah. known, but I know like him and Trey yeah, Truth got their little beef the and stuff nigga. like that. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Nigga. Zero is gold. Nigga. What is, so where Trey the Truth fit in? Uh, nigga, I didn't know about Trey the Truth until I I heard about Trey through Zero, nigga. Okay. That uh, cause they got they was together at first, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. but that's the only reason I knew because I'm like, damn, that nigga sound like Zero. Right, right, right. right you right, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like his whole little style, but it just, he, you know, I just think he got more promotion than Zero. I think Zero was too like raw and gutter. And I'm gonna be happened. I'm gonna be honest with you, for us over here at least, we probably didn't know about Trey the Truth until the the issue with uh. Mike Jones. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. You know, we didn't know about it. But down Mike south, Jones. I'm sure he a staple. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's you know like cats out here, like Sugar Free. Sugar Free ain't Yeah. And you go to New York and all these other places, they don't know Sugar Free. Down south, out here, no, they, they out here, it's like he's a legend. Yeah, I mean, definitely. So, you know. Yeah, definitely. So you said, okay, I didn't, I didn't get your phone. You said Pac, Wayne, 
Biggie, Snoop, Zero. Zero. Okay. Yeah. I had to throw the South in there, huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck with it. For real. What about so you? So I'm 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 more uh I'm more West Coast bound, which I listen to a lot of people from everywhere, but I'm gonna go Q first, Nas, uh Snoop, Pop. Then I'm gonna do, uh, and this is like what I consumed a lot of. Then I'm gonna do Biggie. Go so Biggie. are you in order or no? No particular order, just you know, just. Nah, who I, I want y'all niggas to put in the order because yeah, I, I. Okay, so I, I take. I honestly, I'll take. I'll <laughs> take. I'll take Biggie off and probably put in Exhibit. Just who I consume. You got a wild Biggie? ass list. Wait, hey, you got a Biggie? <laughs> what Exhibit over Biggie? Uh, only only because it's more catalog. It's more catalog. It's, it's more something like Biggie got, you know, he got two albums. He got features. I don't features know more like than three that. exhibit songs, not trying to be. No, no, of course. Anything. I mean, shit, a lot of people don't. I All get I know it. is see what you get now. <laughs> <laughs> that video was cold, though. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Hell yeah. Let's get Right, right, right. right. <laughs> when he got with Dre, like. And, uh, yeah, uh, man, and the Pin My Ride intro. No, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking around. <laughs> oh, but nah, exhibit nah. is hard, though, man. Yeah, like, yeah. where he hard. He, uh, I was consuming a lot of his music and uh yeah, like I said, Snoop Pot, Ice Cube, uh and, and Nas. I feel like yeah. Exhibit is like a stepbrother or something or a step cousin. Like, yeah, you know, I mean so because I like, you, you know, it I, I guess you I mean if you wanna be He's from New Mexico. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like if you wanna be technical, a lot <laughs> of people ain't from here. Right. He's from New Mexico, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. But that could be considered a West Coast. Though. I did not know that. It's depth. It, it, it could wait. be. It could. It could. Where's Mexico? It's on the. It's, 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 it's right. It's like. <laughs> is that in Texas? It's no, right that ain't. Uh, no, no, right, Arizona. Right, it's right next to Texas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is New Mexico yeah. a state? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It is, huh? Yeah. Albuquerque yeah. is a capital. Right, right, right. right. I'm like, yeah, right. Albuquerque is. A, yeah, that's wild. Okay. Yeah. So. How you I just mean, born in? I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying. I'm laughing at you, but I didn't learn about it until I met some females from. Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm like, where y'all, y'all from Mexico? Now I'm it makes like, sense. Nah, I remember from, uh, New Mexico. Know, right, I'm like, yeah, what are you, you not from the old one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, ignorant. But it's right. not necessarily, I don't want to say I replaced Biggie, because lyrically, I, you know, obviously Biggie is like, you know, one of the- This is why we say top five. Yeah, top, but I'm just saying what I could say. So this is your, oh, so you just going about- Yeah, yeah. Because what I, you could no, no. could be different from your top five. Look, yeah, what I, what I, what I'll say, that could, yeah, me personally, that's my, that could be my top five. I okay. can I consumed a lot of pop. Man, I consumed no, no, a lot, no, no, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of uh a lot of big, but also I consumed a lot of um exhibit. Let me ask you a question. Why 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 is Ice Cube your number one? Man, you crazy. I'm just asking. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't it just I just want to know what 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 does what made him your number just one? Just another day at the stoplight. Oh, <laughs> Looking in my mirror so I could see who could see me. <laughs> okay. South Central was putting Ice Cube to the test. With four brothers in the SS. Man, this nigga is, man, bro. He make dude, you think he talking about uh, you. I think he thought he was ice When you hear ice cream. <laughs> when you hear ice cream. The light skin version up. of man, ice cream. Yeah, he he definitely talking saying? about South Central. Like, yeah. all yeah. his shit is like South Central based and it's relatable. Right. Right. You didn't got to be no game banger. It's just right. like real South Central LA type shit. No, nah, I, I, I fuck with Cube too, but I just... I like a lot of I know more people that's a little older have him as their number one. Yeah. A little bit older, the generation right before us. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean. The old cube though, you can't deny him. That's what I'm at saying. All. No, he at oh, all. his rhyme is good. He was like on the West Coast as far as rhyming ability, yeah. he was the first one just getting off. Yeah. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. one of the first ones really getting off like that. Yeah. Not the only, but it was, he was one of the first definitely. What about you, Seattle? Seattle. Uh <laughs> hey, do we consider uh, uh MC Hammer a rapper? Jeez. MC Hammer is definitely a rapper. A rapper. All right, he's he my number and, and five. Sierra whoop somebody ass too. For real. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He my number five, number four, DJ Quick, Eminem mm -hmm. number three, mm -hmm. uh, Nas number two, Why are you at that? and Jay Z number one. DJ Quick, I'll replace uh, Biggie with DJ Quick too. That's a good one. You already replaced him with uh. I know. Damn. So he so he, so Why he keep moved doing Biggie like so that, he man. moved down to seven. I know. He like <laughs> so he so he moved uh, down yeah, to seven. Yeah. Down to seven. yeah. <laughs> DJ Quick is a good one. Yeah. So. I'm leaving. Like I said, uh, uh, MC Hammer started me listening to music. Well, my mom, the first song that I ever really paid attention to. Bumps in the bumps. Huh? Nah. Video. Uh, <laughs> he was in the thong. Uh, uh, you no. can't touch it. Okay. Oh. Can't touch it. My mama played it, and I seen my mama. That's how me and my mama honestly. Connected it was through MC Hammer and listening to his music and everything else. I remember he came out with uh he had a tape uh that he had out. Our whole family used to watch sit there and watch the tape. 
And we used to, that's how we used to get along. But are you going off your, your childhood or what you really what I, how many, I still listen to the Hammer. Oh. Dang, I think I was too bad. I knew about Two Live Crew before I knew about Hammer. Right. Yeah. But I ain't going to lie. Hammer I was, like Uncle Luke Hammer too. was like, I'll say you had, back in the 80s, you had you had Michael Jackson, you had Prince, and you had Hammer as like yeah. some of the icons. He was like one of the first rappers out here that we kind of like. You can't, you know what I mean? look, don't, not saying NWA not, wasn't. I mean, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah, like, yeah. Hammer had a cartoon. Nigga, I wanted yeah, some Hammer exactly, pants. Exactly. Hammer exactly. pants. Exactly. I wanted Hammer, some Hammer pants. He can now front on Hammer, man. Like, even he, he might have been, he might have been probably the first conscious rapper I heard. Exactly. As far, yeah, conscious rapper. As far oh, as talking know. about, you when know, he, what's going hitting. on in the city and shit like that. Like, later on, or when he first came out? Because. All I remember when he, when he first came out, I thought it was just all like damn party damn. No, no, when he, yeah, of course yeah. it was that too. But then, but then he, when you get into the album, see, Alan listened to oh, the album. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, oh, I ain't gonna lie. Out in the album, nigga. That no, no, we, we couldn't like dance that. to it, nigga. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, that's why we pray. Pray, yeah, that was pray, 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 we was all singing that. Right, pray, pray, pray. 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 Like, we was in the game. We was in the living room dancing. Me Nigga, everybody, yeah, you, you, I don't too, care how hood and too legit came out. Yeah. yeah, I don't care how hood and gangster you are. You, nigga, you did that. Uh, you, you did that. Everybody did it. You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. Too legit, too quick. Hey, hey. Y'all know the answer. That's what I said. Too legit, too quick. Niggas going to be mad like, hey, they throwing up all type of noise. Right, yeah. <laughs> nah, you but can't. Even with the, the, even with the pumps and the bumps, I think uh, it's That's all when he good. went. It's all good. good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Nah. I think that was the, that was the, that was but see, we, you, you realize we still remember these hits. So you know they was timeless and they was hard. I mean. Yeah. You know, but nah, uh, definitely. Uh, uh, so you okay? Yeah, yo. that's my that's my top five. So you went. What was your first two? First two was Jay Z and Nas. Jay Z, Nas. Then is Eminem. Eminem. Then is uh, shit. Who, shit, who does one of four? Did Jay Quick. Did, yeah. Quick and yeah, Hammer. Quick and then Hammer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a crazy. No list. Seattle rappers. Was it? Well, only Seattle rappers, rappers is um 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 uh, Sir Mix a Lot. That nigga was from Seattle. Yeah. That's, that's the only one. My past is on Broadway. You know where Broadway is? Yeah. Was that a street? In Seattle? <laughs> it's the, it's, no. it's a Broadway everywhere. Yeah, yeah it is. But I, nah, I, but uh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go, and I'm going in order. I'm going Pac. I'm going Jay-Z. I'm going um, Pac, Jay-Z, Snoop. I'm going, um, damn, Pac, Jay-Z, Snoop. What was my fourth? Wayne. And my fifth, my fifth is a fight between, I say, uh, Nip and Kendrick. That's a fight. I, I fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, That's I a fight that. between them two. Uh, you know. But you got to pick one though. How about to say that? Ah. Oh. Like my number six is Kendrick. I I, I say I, I gotta go. Yes. I'm gonna go Nip. I, I'm not speaking for you, but I'm just saying I'll go Nip and Kendrick is a close. Close. It, it's just because, but see. Uh, and the only reason because I, I I can't get nothing else from Nip no more. I know, but I know yeah. Kendrick. Uh, I've but seen I've seen him in battle. Mode. I've seen him in so many different modes. Yeah. But my love for Nip and what he what he what he 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 had shit that I rewinded like damn. So relate more to Nip. Nip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout so out Nip. so um, it's a fight, man. But I'm gonna go Nip just just right now because Kendrick yeah. his book ain't closed. I mean, so mm -hmm. you know he he still got a lot more to go. His book ain't closed, man. Would y'all ever replace anybody in y'all top five? Uh, <clears throat> as far as because we got a lot more life to live, you don't know who's coming. I mean, um, yeah, I, I mean, of course, if you if well, I'm not gonna replace, I'll just start another section. So, with the old rappers, I have my rappers, and then with the new rappers, I'll go dot nip. Um, you have to have two top fives. Why I say that because it's like what you you know, what you grew up on, yeah. Yeah, 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 what you yeah, grew yeah, up yeah. on, and then yeah. you like today's. Right. So I mean, you have a top ten. It's like no order. I mean, my top five rappers. Case, would be... shit, my bad. I'm sorry. No, you good. You good. Go ahead. Said, if that's the case, man, I'm replacing Big with uh... <laughs> yeah, everybody throwing Biggie out. Y'all scared? <laughs> they they gonna be bad. I, I never, I never gonna be like, like who? Yeah. Yeah. Who? That's the new rapper. I mean, uh, I like Biggie, but I never really got to Biggie or Pop. I'm gonna like, for they not even my top ten. Yeah, rapper. Uh, what's the nigga name? Uh, Vaughn. Oh, King, King Von. Von. Yeah. You replaced Biggie with King Von? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. 
<laughs> wow. I mean, I like, I like eight. Uh, Remember, we got two top five. You know what I'm saying? The new and the old. Why you leave them over? Why you didn't put King Von? Because they both was like, you know, rest in peace. You know, like, okay. Yeah, but King Von gonna... is new. And, and Yeah, that's my new top five. He, you oh, know? you said replacing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my bad. Hey, you know, I just <laughs> thought we were replacing. All right, so, all right, so, so this. this. What, what, what is your new top five? Shit. Uh, like, like rappers who's like today's rap. Not, mm, I would say within uh, the last 10 years. That's hard. Mm. That's hard. But I don't even know if I listen to five. I I'm don't. Like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say that. I'm Nelly, one of mine's two. That ain't uh, wait, two. what? That ain't that ain't you? Nigga, never, <laughs> never, never nah. I said That's 10 last 10 years. Nah, That's hell. Nigga ain't even been out in 10 years. 10 years? Hell. Oh, shit. I like Nelly. Or you could throw him in your face. That nigga's showing the age. That nigga said Nelly, uh. Nelly ain't been out since we been grown, grown. Oh, shit. Titty boy, uh. <laughs> hey, two change is hard. Nah, though. you you talking about back in the day, yeah. the titty boy, not the two change. Not, you last, talking about titty boy? Last ten years is 2014 and up, mm -hmm. so you gotta go there. Yeah. Um, shit. Man, I like I, uh, early 2000s got King his Von, own. Nigga. Early 2000 got his. Stop own, saying uh, King Von. You said new Mo three King Von Boosie nigga. Okay, okay. Uh, Mo three is hard. Boosie, oh, he's not nigga. Mo what? Three is I mean, hard. Such, nigga. is he in this generation? Is he in nigga. the new generation? Is he nigga? Yeah. He, you think he's, 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 he's an older is. rapper, but he's getting more. Nigga, he been now. around, yeah. nigga. Nigga, yeah. what? Okay, okay. He's an older rapper, but he getting more. Von nigga, uh, Mo three nigga, um. Shit, who else does yeah, move? Yeah, I fuck with um, Mo3. Mo3 is hard. <laughs> yeah, that dude has soul. Uh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Mo3, Boosie. Uh, I like Toby. Who? Toby yeah, he hard. 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 We got your boy Drake, man. Your boy Drake is considering. Maybe it might be a strong possibility to spark up a new uh, a round two with the beef. He don't want it. <laughs> I mean, I, if you just get your ass knocked out, it ain't no round two. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, you can't get back up after ten months. I mean, you can, after you can get back up. That I mean, you can get back up, but I'm saying. You can't be like, all right, what's up now, nigga? Like, you know what I mean? You like, can because that's how it works. This is hip hop, though. I you get know. it. I get it. I get it. But he can come back. The only, this is how I think he can. He can, he's gonna do it. <clears throat> he's gonna do it with hits. He can't do it with talking about him. Right. He only can do it with hits because he tried to talking about him and it didn't work. Hmm. So, but that's what I'm saying. If, you, can, I, I, if he want to battle, like as far if round two mean, I'm just about to put out. Good music and yeah, that, yeah. then then okay like yeah. but I'm thinking round two mean let's let's yeah. go at each just other like the first round like that yeah. nobody want to hear that who want to hear yeah, that yeah. right now I think it depends on what he say if he say something that's gonna strike a chord would you what would you even believe chord? it or would you really want to hear something right now I wouldn't even want to see another battle between them he gonna hear it regardless it he gonna matter. throw little shots yeah that's crazy he gonna throw little shots yeah my fault <laughs> yeah it's all good. But uh, it depends on what he say. If he say something that's really gonna, that's really gonna like hold some weight, yeah, Kendrick gonna pop back out. But it's gonna be bad for him. Right. 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 I mean, well, I, I wouldn't say uh, that because if Kendrick wouldn't have dropped that song, nigga, it was looking ugly. You think so? Hell yeah, it was. That song was good, but just because of Drake being who he is, nobody was really like. That one song with Kendrick and um, he was talking all that shit before uh, Not Like Us or whatever. Yeah. That shit was a banger. It was, yeah, yeah, of course. I don't yeah, think yeah. people was giving it the like <clears throat> recognition that Being it was. Being biased? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. that's You're what right. I'm saying. Right. So if he had no choice but to come out with that shit with Mustard, like, you can't deny it in the clubs and the streets and the like. Man, you can't deny it nowhere. That's it's, what I'm saying. It's, it's so everywhere right now. It was looking kind of like shaky, you know. Yeah, in you the right. beginning. Because yeah. of the popularity. Yeah, yeah. But as far as music goes, I think me personally, I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what's that? Uh, Family Matters. Yeah. That was a good song. Yeah. But it wasn't good all the way through. I think it was a good song after when the when the beats first changed when the beat first changed, but. Uh, I think Kendrick, you know, he's more about quality than, than quantity. So he's going to put out some shit that's going to, regardless if you <clears throat> agree with it or like it or not, he's going to put out some shit that he think is quality. In the beginning, people ask me, they're like, so who you had, Drake or Kendrick? 
And being from the West Coast, you off top, you right. know, they be expect you to be like Kendrick. I right. don't lie, nigga. I play more Drake than I play Kendrick. Like, not trying to be funny. Like, on mm -hmm. the regular, you chilling with a female, you throw on some Drake. Yeah. Nigga, you taking a ride somewhere, you just cleaning up, doing whatever, nigga. You listen to Drake, like, it, got, it ain't the same. Nigga be singing, rapping, you know, the nigga talented. <laughs> me, personally, I play more Kendrick than Drake. Yeah, me too. I, I, I got I got a Drake playlist, but I will play the whole album. The only it's one album I like with Drake, but yeah. maybe that's just you know my ignorance. But no, nah, my play, my go to when I'm cleaning up is uh, uh, Rich Beard. Yeah. I play that all Rich day. Beard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I DJ nigga, so most of the time I ain't gonna lie, I was playing. Yeah, well, yeah. Then you, if you DJ, yeah, yeah, you know? you gonna play yeah. what the crowd want. The yeah, crowd, yeah. you know what I mean? They want. Drake is more up tempo. He's more for the people. But you like the, not party for the people, too. but you like the party. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, everything yeah. is for preference and stuff like that. Uh, but K Kendrick is, I think Kendrick is for the natural hip hop head that love listening to lyrics right. and right. headphones or driving in the car right. wanting yeah. to listen to yeah. something like that. If you in that, are you in a certain zone or mind state? Throw on some Kendrick or something like right. that. He right. kind of relates to like the Pac and Nas and all them. Like I mean, he's right. in that area. Right. You know, um, but he's shown just now he. He always has singles, <clears throat> but right. he's shown that he can. I can get with this too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's make a hit real quick. But I wonder if it wasn't a must to be, what else would it be? You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, we always we gonna always uh, um, think about what what ifs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he had a lot of I, like that song with him and J Rock on the black one. Uh, uh, is it on J Rock album or the Black Planet? He, they was getting off. I like that video when it be paused and then he, he can get off on the beat. I, mean, I like that yeah. King Kunkka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he can definitely get off. Yeah, King Kunkka's stupid. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, like even the one with him and his nephew. Uh, what's that one song with him and his nephew? King? Baby yeah. King? Yeah, Baby King. King. Yeah. Baby King. I ain't really been able to like just lock in on him yet. He he dope, but. I listened to one of his albums. It's, it's cool. You, I, I got to go back and just dissect yeah. it, but it's yeah. cool. They had, no, he had, a, um, he had a special on. Uh, I want to say either either Netflix or Prime, uh, with him and um with him and Kendrick, uh, baby, baby Kim, King, King, King. yeah, baby King, and it, it, it was dope. Hmm. He had a little visual uh, effects and everything else that was on there. That shit was dope. So who gonna win round two? I don't. I don't know. think it is a round two, bro. I think both of them. I think just like J Jay and Nas, they just kind of went on, and um, and they end up kind of being cool later. Yeah, they cool now. I don't. I think this could happen later. I don't know. No, it was a lot that was said. It. I don't see yeah, it. but but it was a lot that was said in the, in the Drake yeah. and Nas. Uh, I mean, uh, Jay and Nas beef too. So you, you I mean, you it's hard know. to no, say never. Look, what was said? To be honest, what was, like <laughs> right, right. He attacked, he, talk, he, talk, he talked his whole family. No, right. I mean for the for the Jay and Nas, I think the only thing that was said was with Nas baby mama, but. That might have been known out that way right. already, but other than that, it wasn't nothing really like he called him Drake a pedophile, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying like, yeah, I don't see that happening. But say, oh, and I, think, I, think, I think more about yeah, the the vote. Vote. I think more Stabs about uh, right on Kendrick's Stabs. side as far as yeah. telling Sam my kid ain't mine, my yeah. wife cheated with yeah, mom and all this. Saying, that's yeah. that ass like lying, you call me yeah. pedophile, like nigga, you just says anything if it's not true. But when you attacking man's family or kids yeah. or anything yeah. like that. There ain't no yeah. coming back. Yeah, he, had a, he had a straight I might, I might when I family. see you, like, I mean. But you, like, know, you, know, <laughs> you know that. It's, but Drake it's, didn't take it seriously, though. I don't think Drake really took that serious. It's hip-hop. Is he supposed to? I'm successful. Yeah. I'm doing my thing. You low-key getting Kendrick more from did. this than I'm gaining from it, if, if anything. Like, I mean, I'm mean, i already setting. But then then, then uh, Kendrick rebuttaled with the uh, 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 Not Like Us video with him and his family in the living room. So it's like. Say what you want to say, you're still my family. I think right. Drake didn't take it serious because he had no real solid ground to go off on. I agree with he you. He just coming up with shit. And he do that with all mm -hmm. his beefs. He mm -hmm. talk about what he sees and not what he knows. All right. So, you know. So what y'all think about uh, Doc, Dr. Umar saying uh, hip-hop hasn't did anything for black culture? Like, y'all agree. Is hip-hop more negative for black culture or has it been more of a positive for, for us well that nigga's cool no i'm just uh, <laughs> no, I'm fucking around. Uh, he built it <laughs> i think he played his part a big part definitely as 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 in what uh negative especially these days think about drill <laughs> rapping thinking yeah. about like you, you can tell how the killings is being done like yeah. how they doing it how they going about it who they killing when they killing where it's just and knowing the consequences they don't even care they just want to go out Remember it as this. 
So the fame is more important than like everything. That's crazy. That's a it great is. point. That you, is. you 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 are doing shit for the internet. You're recording everything that they you go doing live and do to it. go live to get uh, attention, and that's kind of notoriety. You can kind of re- like pair that with mm-hmm. hip hop because you in the hip hop game. So and it, and all the shit that's happening is like rappers and you know people that's involved in hip hop and shit. So, but do we do we um because these people are rappers. I mean, do we associate it with hip hop? Because some of these people are rappers, but then social media plays a a, a, a role in a that too, yeah. and clout chasing and trying to show you how tough you are online and showing people I can do this and I can go anywhere, I can say this. But these just so happen. What if they just so happen to be rappers? These is but niggas. What is hip hop though? <laughs> I'm saying these days. What is hip hop? That's they hip hop. It's not yeah exactly. Yeah, but they but they you know we listen they, to the hip hop and we kind of like you said we related to it. That's the hip hop, right? What's, but what, what's hip hop? Hip hop is dancing, graffiti, rap, yeah, fashion. It, that ain't now. It's, it's it's not what it is. Real. Now. What they know now of hip hop is is just rap and street shit. Yeah. They take the negative out of rap, but why? They why? take the negative out of hip hop and try to make it familiar. Mm-hmm. But why do we associate that with hip hop? Like. It's just the same thing as saying like black on black crime. It's like just because these are rappers that's doing bullshit, it's a lot of other rappers that's not mm. doing bullshit. True. Why that's do we associate true. these the negative niggas are because we don't shine light on the people that's not doing that and be, shit like exactly. that. Exactly. Because no, that's what's getting promoted to the kids. Exactly. They they that's what they go go towards because that's all they see. And that's what the girls like. That's exactly. what's getting all the money. Mm-hmm. That's, that's like, what's getting all the fame and that's yep. what's getting respect where they from. And that's like, um, like I, I had to deal with that with my other son the other day with the ski mask. He walking down the street with with a hoodie and a ski mask, and he he having on because his girlfriend talking about he look cute in it. And I'm like, and it's not it's not a ski mask no more. It's the shiesty mask. Oh, shiesty mask. Who who's a rapper? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Which the ski mask been out before him? But oh, still. It's, it's, it's definitely a whole yeah. lot of influence from hip hop. A lot of <laughs> negative. Exactly. But I guess it's just like, do we let them take? Cause they'll use they'll use that like how they used to do back in the days like with with Tupac and stuff like that. Oh y'all, music is making these kids do this and stuff like that. Well, we go with that narrative and we say we we just gonna let give in to it. Like okay, hip hop is the reason for all this. I'm not saying it's not a negative influence, but shit, social media is probably the worst shit in the world. Created. Right. I yeah. mean, but right. hip hop been around before social. Media. Right. But mm-hmm. we wasn't kill- niggas was killing niggas and doing crazy shit back yeah. then. But listening we, to that, they didn't make us go out and go do it. But that's one aspect of hip hop. No. What, what what Dr. Umar is saying is like, yes, <clears throat> we got what what's highlighted is the negative. It's hard to find a positive rapper mm-hmm. that's spitting real shit positive shit. I don't know if it's hard. Who? Name. La Russell. Uh, Nigga, he more, no disrespect to him. He good. I like what he do. But it seemed like more of a, like a little gimmick. I just remember him because he be in the Why backyard. Like not, not saying he is, but I'm saying all I know is him is when I'm going up TikTok or when I'm going up like YouTube on the shorts or something, I see him in the background rapping. He said a cool little rap, but I don't know him. I don't hear him on yeah. the radio. I don't know him to be a conscious rapper i just know him to be that's like a tiktok like sensation you tapped into his albums he more of a that's what showing they don't you promote a, he, him nobody it ain't even him. about him being a conscious rapper it's more showing you a different side of the business a hustle this no, is I what we that. this is how this is what we doing forget the the the, the structure of all this shit. we can right. do it our way and, and get the money our way and we don't need the middleman we don't need right. y'all we can right. he's showing you know the 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 other but side of this shit. that's I mean, the point that's the good part about social media because you can highlight that yourself but so, on a regular st- on, on a regular structure it. yeah on a regular structure it's not highlighted all right, the what is the regular what structure but hold on I'm talking about like nowadays. what they so see what every day on on so what do you guys consider like, what frequent game and yg did last week while doing the blood walk hold on we're gonna get into yeah. that we can get mm-hmm. into that but because that what that's a that's a good point yeah. but uh I mean, what's the nowadays is no, it's no late, uh, it's labels, but they're not running everything. You do have Spotify, you do have playlists and people that's trying to like, but a lot of times you have these blogs that's highlighting the bullshit. Like, so it ain't even direct. But that's the social the media, that's the social uh, media conversation tapped into like the music industry, but take right. social media out of it. What was the music industry highlighting? Oh no, I, I'm not saying it, it, it don't highlight negativity. It yeah. highlight what's gonna get the views. Beef, right? 
beef and bullshit is always going to bring the most views. Exactly. And that's right? But that's outside of hip hop. That's with anything. That's in reality TV. That's in true. anything. I mean, but it's all paired with hip hop. Like if you look at the, even if you look at the, uh, the reality TV shows, look at the music that they're, they're, they're uh, playing that they're, that's on the TV shows or look who's on the reality TV show. Now they're putting rappers. Hip-hop in. Now they're putting Man, hip-hop. you got football players, basketball players imitating rappers. Yeah. You got reality stars. They want to live this life mm-hmm. as a rapper. If you notice with the internet and like these times that we in, struggling will get you laughed at. Yeah. Long definitely. time ago, we used to have like, you know, some There's kind of sympathy for each other. You know, we like, you know, we respected the hustle, the struggle because we all had to go through it at one time. Now you show you had the only time the struggle was good is when you up and you, you yeah I had to struggle. Right, yeah, I, but if I you show you struggling, right. niggas will laugh at you. Yeah, Nobody exactly. want to see that shit. A lot of them are struggling. Now. Right, right. unless right. you understand it. You know what I'm saying? When right. you understand what the struggle is, like damn, I see him. Let me let me see how this is. You know what I'm saying? But right. if you think about it, <clears throat> it's only probably one or two artists like mainstream that people really related to. Like really, really related to and had love for. And that's DMX and and uh probably Pac because everybody seen Probably him. Pac. I thought you were gonna say yeah. Pac works, man. I mean yeah, Pac, yeah, but because he got some this we'll go we'll get to that. But DMX because you, you can see Pac, I'm not. But <laughs> you can see the growth. To say. No, you, you can see the growth. Negative, you can see the growth with DMX. You can see what he was doing and people loved him. People love to see. Wait, 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 his ass off. No, Hold wait, on. listen, go, listen. Go ahead. You right on what you're saying. What mm-hmm. growth? Now let's fast forward, right? Yeah. To like to the end of their career or like in the future when we, you know, uh, man, this game don't love nobody. They didn't switch up on oh. Pac. They didn't switch up yeah. on X. Yeah. They didn't, and then and then appraise somebody else and just to right. like right. like you understand what i'm trying to get yeah. at like man it ain't nobody okay. that they won't throw under the light ain't know? no love I, out I, here I fuck, with ain't DMX. No love. I fuck with dmx but what what you mean by growth what what growth did dmx show everything that he was going through was on camera whether he wanted to or not but what you said growth yes as far I, as him dealing with with even from the, the from his albums dealing with with drugs dealing with the thoughts the the, the demons he was you know dealing with he never got over yeah it, he never regardless did. but he still was putting it out there and was still preaching both sides. Yes, a lot of people that do that. Oh, dirty. Would you go to, would you go to a, somebody that a pastor that had a church like that that was still fucking up and then came to came and still preached both sides? Hell Before yeah. I would go to somebody that's preaching perfect perfection and ain't, and perfect. ain't nobody perfection. preaching. And ain't nobody preaching. Stop uh, it, bro. Yeah. That's that's the that's part the, of the separation the with that's church. Part of the game. Yeah. I don't think pastors preach perfection, but bro. No, not they, all pre- of them. they preach what like. What, they don't preach like what he's saying. They don't go. They're not saying, "Oh yeah, I'm up here preaching to you." But yeah. last night, sister, what's her name? Boy, I yeah. looked at her fat ass. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> nah, well, they're not, not saying do that. that. But it was saying, one preacher. You know what I mean? It was one preacher that I, I I related to when I was going to church, and he was a young preacher. I forgot his name, but he was a young preacher. He was saying, you know, this is this, this is this. I'm going through this, and he was preaching from a young aspect. I will relate to that more than somebody saying he was relatable to you. Yeah, you go to who you relatable to. But I don't see you can't tell me because DMX talk, uh, talked about he didn't t- he didn't never tell you oh I'm doing drugs and I'm doing this. He right. never he said s- that. It don't matter if he said it or not. You have seen it, so you seen uh, what, what does he that got to do with anything? You seen though? what you seen not till later though at the end towards the yeah, end of his career yeah. though like and it's prime you didn't know that this nigga was on drugs you didn't right. know that right. Right. Was, you didn't know that's what i'm saying right. you didn't know this nigga was uh fighting with these record companies yeah. and right. flipping, struggling with his like yeah that's the you mm-hmm. know but i'm all i'm saying and 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 listen i was the biggest dmx fan like i mean 98 See, that i think we all I, were. yeah I, I was the biggest oh, DMX, but i'm just saying i feel like because we that's a we, we that's a whole nother oh, story. <laughs> oh shit. I gotta cut all that out. <laughs> we back, hey, yo. It's all good. We back. We man. back. We back. Let's go. <laughs> you do that shit oh man. Yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah. As far as as far as Doctor Umar, look, listen, Doctor Umar, King Kong, conscious man. Uh, I get where he's coming from, but it it, it I, I see both sides. You know, it can create a lot of jobs, and what you choose to do with your money, that's what creates a better community <clears throat> because you can't what i mean i can see how you see he, he said you can you should but you can't depend on hip-hop community 
to, to save the community. Yeah, right. I agree you with that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I see where you I see where you're coming from with that though. I will say that the only person who I ever seen um try to do the remember uh the rush card, he the only one who financially tried Bro, to what interest rates, man. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. He also uh he, never mind. He, <laughs> he also in Bali on um, some other shit. Yeah. I'm in Bali. 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 <laughs> I mean, that's the only person I can see so far besides Jay Z, uh, trying to do what he did with basketball now football. Uh, but like with the new cast, no, I don't see them trying to do nothing for the community. Every everybody is out for themselves, man. Right. What, what what he's saying is, where are the banks? Where's the banks? Hip hop bank? Where's the the hip hop school? Where's the, the labels? The hip hop labels? Where's the uh, that that own every fucking thing? Is there even labels where, anymore? Because I ain't heard nobody represent their labels. labels in a minute. It is labels, but it's it's subsidiary. It's it's you know sub. Uh, Used to be Rockefeller, Dog Pound. Nah, there there is a lot. There is some, some truth to what he's saying. Um, but it's like fuck, you know. I don't know, but you gotta go. You gotta go. It, there is a lot of good artists too that that don't get signed, and that's right. why these. Even though the streaming service is bullshit, for uh, as yeah. far as the money shit, it, it does open up access to go find the good music that you want to find. So you know, mm -hmm. and as far as his school, <coughs> we have to understand he's building a school. <clears throat> this is a new thing. A, a, a black he's teaching um, uh, African uh, what what I forgot African panism, what he, which he's teaching. So he's going to teach that. You're going to get some pushback from from the the powers that be so you're gonna right. they're gonna come to like okay so you ain't got this set up you ain't got this set up so it's gonna be a long you know situation for him to really get it up and going but you know or yeah. or i was just sitting there thinking about it how many times has a rapper contribute to a college uh, most of the most of the stuff they contribute to is what hbcus but more than anything else we don't but well, ain't we, that we, good i mean no 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 i'm just saying that not necessarily pop. because H, some of the hbcus are Still struggling? No, are uh, created by white people. Right. So, but it's still, right, I mean, but you're still contributing. I mean, but you gotta think about it. Not one rapper has a school, and you have how many? Like, like LeBron James, he has a school, right? But it's like none of these rappers are like, like he said, it's puppy got in. one. Oh, all right. Man. <laughs> uh, all right, I, man. I'll just say to end this up. I'll just say his point is Oprah. Every. Everything is not individual, uh, and not an individual success. So we talk about a rapper. What is this rapper doing, or what are we doing as a community to help the black community? Oh that's, my bad. That's all he. That's all he's saying. <laughs> Shit. I, I just be wondering, uh, do other cultures get that? Like, what is country doing to help the country, but, or see, what is the, Korean music doing that to help goes it? into what Michael Rue was saying? <laughs> it's like you know, we tear down each other. We only gonna highlight what we know or what we see. We put a lot of pressures on yeah. on our artists, on our uh, right. sp our sports figures, our athletes to but to do so much. Stars and and whatever uh, genre you talking about, actually genre you talking about, they don't even talking about killing each other. And yeah, bitches is this. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna kill your mom. I'm gonna mm -hmm. kill your daddy. And then people was actually going out doing it. So what we gonna do? Stop listening to hip hop or what? No, nope. nah, change the lid. <laughs> we need some more. Uh... Yeah, you said you like Mozzie and, and King Von was in yeah, your head. Yeah, we, we had a mixture. Man. We had a both. You know, we need a little. Now all them niggas kill somebody. <laughs> we need a little like you know. Uh, you yeah. know who I like yeah. as an entrepreneur, Master P. Yeah. Master P was one of the best. Sell anything exactly. He got cereal. <laughs> I, ain't like, I got new. Ba I got these new Master he got P shoes, batteries. No limit man. batteries. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no limit. <laughs> no limit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just sitting there thinking about, you yeah. know, these people you who's trying to help. You can't never find them in stores, though. Right. Nah, but, uh. None of this shit. <laughs> it ain't rap snacks, you can't find that shit. No, man, man, listen. A nigga can't find a number of rap snacks. Right. Yeah. You got to go to the hood stores for that. On me. <laughs> them shit salted in the bitch. <laughs> yeah, pass out after eating some rap man, snacks. High blood sugar. He, oh, Dr. Umar right, matter of fact. Look at nah, that. But, <laughs> nah, but, uh. Y'all, y'all, uh, y'all had any, ever had any car accidents? Hell yeah, I'm this is, this is, one. This is coming from uh <laughs> this is coming from the Danny Lay footage. Uh wait, how you say her name? Danny Lay. Oh, okay. And we don't have to show her footage, but uh she had an accident and her footage of her of the arrest video just came out. But the accidents <clears throat> because she hit somebody, I guess. So as far as you say you just have one. 
Oh, I can't talk about that. Okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> still still yeah, yeah, don't even bring that up. No for man. sure. Yeah, I had I had accidents, and I and I have hit a couple uh couple bodies before. <laughs> a couple what? A couple bodies. bodies. Body, yeah. wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. We're talking about car accidents, car accidents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He had like he was on, like, we was on so bad you boys, too. I yeah. heard people before, like, yeah. just yeah. one of one of them was light. I was on sunset and I was was cool. light, yeah. Wait, yeah. I mean, yeah. wait, wait, time out, time out. Never mind, never mind. Because this, I, hold on, was this. Not on even. No, yeah, it was no, it was no, prior. No. It was prior to all. It was prior. Right, to, right, 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 right. Yeah, prior to MTA and all that shit. So, you yeah, was in a five hundred uh, Feezy? No, nah, I was okay. in the. Uh, I Quickie. was in my my uh, Chevrolet Cavalier. Man. Cavalier. Golly. Yeah, yeah. Too. You uh, shouldn't have been on Sunset in the Cavalier. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> hey man, we was we bit. was hey we was <laughs> rolling. Good on Sunset. <laughs> we was rolling. Uh, it don't, out even, it don't even matter. Yeah. It don't even, we was rolling. It was a two door. Photo. Oh, no, don't play me. <laughs> like, he trying to play me. <laughs> I was about to ask him to the hatchback. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, we on sunset, we in traffic, or whatever, and I'm looking to the left, and next thing you know, I heard, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. and it's a drunk white boy. Wait, on the side. You ran him over. You didn't nah, hit nah, I, I hit him. It was a drunk white boy on the side. I'm like, it's cool, dude. Don't worry about it. It's cool. Go ahead. <laughs> So I'm like, all right. I'm I give you that white person. So he, it's okay. so, so you, he the one you hit? I hit him. I don't even know how because I was looking to the left. So, so did he fall or what happened? No, nah, no. Nah, he was, by the time I looked to the right, when I heard it, he was already, if he fell, he was already That up. Cavalier probably bumped him. His <laughs> yeah. ass car. <laughs> well, I didn't have a cyclist hit me, but I ain't hit them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, in Long Beach, them bike people, they annoying as fuck. I they hit by a bike. Nah, nigga, I, you know how you pull somebody up to teach, the, Somebody teach you, but they are a car. You know how you pull up to the stop sign, and then it'll be like some blocking, like, you know, they you can't see each other right. because yeah, of the building yeah, or a yeah. car. So I stop at the stop sign. And he coming and as soon as walking? I stop, no, I'm driving. Oh, you driving? As soon okay. as I stop, and the car, the bike just pow, he flipped over my car. Mm. Like, Damn, you know. Right, right, right. Damn. The time okay. I had no insurance, I told him, so he just went about his business. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, wow. <laughs> 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 Look, what about you? It's just, I know you didn't hit some folks. Nah, I, I honestly say, I've never hit anybody. Not people. I mean, a car. I mean, in my regular car, I've never hit nobody. Never in nobody. Never had an accident yeah. in my regular car. As as as. Could have sworn y'all was on a freeway and had an accident or something. <laughs> that nah, didn't happen. Nah. In the in the bug. That didn't happen. Be like me. We can't talk about in that. The <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Somebody hydroplane that hit the hit the side of us. Mm. I mean, that was the last accident that ever. Happened. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I forgot all about that one. Yeah, uh, we it was raining that day. We in uh, somebody who was in the carpool lane. We was on the side of the carpool lane. His truck just hydroplane just. Just turned around and just knocked us out. I remember that time was, no I jumped in the car with you and you, you was making that turn and I was like, you but see that you girl? Y'all said a girl, the nigga, the girl. <laughs> I see her. I see her. It never hit the brake, nigga. I, I see her. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, like if she wouldn't have just tucked her knees in a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If she would, you know, how your knees go inward and you look crazy. Yeah. That's what she did to keep from getting hit. He almost took her knees off, man. <laughs> I used to ride with this nigga, man, uh, to work. And we used yeah. to ride. And, you know, yeah, we, we got there, didn't we? We definitely got That's there. That's the but worst I I feeling as a passenger and uh, somebody who right. drives crazy. Because you can't. I'm like here with the. I'm trying to. You trying to break like a motherfucker. This dude, this dude, he's a, he's a crazy job, but I understand. And I was just talking to my, my mother in law about this. When I first got my license, yeah. I was a wild boy. Man, here you go. Wild behind that wheel, man. And that's when I first. That's when the, um I, have, I had a Hemi in my charger. I had a charger with the Hemi in it. Yeah. Can tell me. I think it was me and uh Jakai. Shout out to Jakai. Shout out Jakai, man. It's funny, yeah, both yeah. of us had both of us had a uh, uh, Caprice. Uh, Caprice at the same time. Then both of us got the uh Hemi after we had the Caprice. And we that's all you heard coming down San Francisco. Yeah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We gotta get Jakai out here on the show one day. Yeah, That'd be man. hilarious. Come man. through, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. Man, but no, <laughs> I mean the the I mean having an accident, I mean I I've had an accident at work, yes. But in my regular car, no. The worst accident I've had. I just in don't it. believe you. <laughs> you said it worked because of how you drive. <laughs> yes, man. I just like, don't believe it. Oh, I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. I, I I know how to safely drive fast and skirt during these streets. Safely drive fast. Yeah, yeah. And I, no, but now, like I said, the worst accident I've had is I got knocked out <laughs> doing the um 714 line uh, when it first started. Uh, 714 coming from the uh, uh the court building, 
and I had we we had green lights coming across uh, 18th Street uh, in the opposite traffic. I mean, opposite traffic was coming off the freeway, and I seen a, a dash bus in front of me, so I got over. As soon as I got over, gentleman just ran the red light, and then he stops right in front of the bus. I I took him and me and everybody who was just getting on was all at the front of the bus. I was knocked out. I was, yeah. I was, that's how hard, that's how hard I hit him. And, uh, I don't even know how the bus stopped. Honestly, I think the bus was still trying to go. And then there's another, uh, bus operator who was in the dash bus. She, I think, so what was told to me that she came over and popped the brake cause the window I had was still open. Damn. I didn't wake up. I didn't wake up until shit. I was in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah but that's, that's, a, that's the only, that's the only one. I've never had no, no, uh, I didn't took off Brian and Mirror. I mean, I hit shit. Like yeah. I don't hit cars, but I hit shit. <laughs> yeah. I uh, took off the mirror. You know what I mean, I was in my garage backing up one time on Fifth and Main, and I hit the pole. So I was rushing to work. I just hit stationary like pole. stationary. You know what I mean? I'm good with cars. If you moving, I can right, dodge you. Right, right. <laughs> I can get away from you if you moving. If your ass steady still, so don't just if you walking, don't just freeze. I might run your ass over. <laughs> you so, better keep on moving. I've had, <clears throat> I have one, two, three, probably three accidents and hit two people, two right. two bodies. Two bodies. Yeah. <laughs> I say bodies because. That is wild. You one say of that them, like. <laughs> because hey, one you know, of them. When you say bodies, my mind automatically only, goes. I only like say bodies. Only... <laughs> exactly. You remember Bad Boys 2? When the, when the body yeah. just falling out. That's when you say bodies. That's what's coming through my I mind. Only say, I only said, I should say persons instead of bodies. Because one of them was like, he was probably like four years old. Wait, so, <laughs> that's wait, a kid. wait, hold on. You said, yeah, as a, as a kid. Wait, 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 wait. That that wasn't was my it, fault. Was it, was it your own kid? No, that was wasn't. You... That wasn't my fault. How you hit a kid? Was man? it another boom, 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 boom? It, 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 it was, it was, but uh, it was a quick one though. But damn. I was, I was actually. Quick. Kind of... <laughs> you, you're not making yourself sound good right now, bro. Okay, so, so listen. I'm in. I'm in. A, once again, this is prior to MCA. Was it the Cavalier or the Mustang at this time? And again, and the Cavalier again. God, that Cavalier be. need to get thrown away. <laughs> so I'm in the Jays. I pick up my boy. He, oh, you in the Jays? Them kids get off. Yeah. Good. So I'm in the Jays. I pick up my boy. And he he uh he just <laughs> he got up like bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he just finished rolling and he spark up. So he spark up. Wait, a four year old. No, no, boy. my boy, I picked up. Oh, I apologize. I didn't hear that part. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why he <laughs> that's why he got hit. <laughs> I was about to say that's what I did. Chili. <laughs> <laughs> so he sparked up, and then he was just about to pass it to me. I had it like this, and I see the little boy coming out, and I just, I, I break, but I still hit him. Mm -hmm. So he was, he, yeah, he was with, uh, he, he can't call the, that a with his family and his family was, uh, was the, was cutting the grass and shit. So, you know, I stayed there and the, and the police department is, I mean, the fire department is right on rodeo right across the way. Yeah, right, right. And I was like, if you would have left, you would have yeah, been the water. Yeah. You would have been yeah, the water. Yeah. So I stayed there. Luckily I didn't hit the, you know, I didn't right. hit the blunt. Oh. So, you know, he, you know, he just tucked it or whatever and he stayed and did the little shit and that was it. You know, so you never had to do anything. I had to do that? nothing. They just said oh, you cool. glad you better be lucky. So you was stay. the boy okay? Yeah, he was cool. But he ran. He, cool. he, he, <laughs> I mean, shit, he four years old running the middle of the street. So he was just bleeding and shit. Yeah, I wasn't speeding or nothing. But you know, was but, you crying and shit? I know you are emotional. Me? No. <laughs> like no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't crying, but yeah, I had I had a few accidents. Man, I was reckless when I first got my life. Oh, you like that, another one. You know what? Another Cavalier. I just remember one. I, I remember Cavalier. One. You probably like another body. When you get rid of uh, the uh, the Cavalier, it yeah. got it got totaled out. I bet it did. God, <laughs> that motherfucker was hot. <laughs> All the bodies. It got, it got totaled out. Too. Yeah, it got totaled out from that cart that uh, police chase I was talking about. Hmm, police so, chase? Not yeah, me. Oh. Somebody else. Somebody <laughs> else was getting chased by the police. And we met in the middle of Crenshaw and Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 so. Nah, I, I remember, I, I forgot. I, yeah, I was young. <laughs> I was 21. I I, would, I lived in Vegas. Uh, my stepfather, I asked my stepfather to, uh, to rent me a car. And so we, uh, this one, uh, uh, Dodge and Trepids was out. I had one drove. <laughs> uh, so I, I drove it, me and my little brother. And my, uh, no, I had a homeboy who was from Illinois and, and his girl. So I'm like, I have my girl with me and we all, we all driving to Vegas, whatever. So he was like, man, show me, you know, show me, show me Los Angeles. This is your city. 
all right, it was Friday. You know, Friday, everybody on Crenshaw. So he was like, so, so next thing you know, we over there on, on, at Rouse on, um, on Crenshaw. I want to say uh, it's not King, uh, Coliseum or whatever it is. And, uh, here come the police. They all, you know, trying to get everybody out of there. Man, I say, get in the car, bro. I'm, I'm speeding. Like I'm really running from the police and the police ain't behind me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm really being extra because I, you know, I got the homies yeah. with me. I want to make showing it seem up. like exactly, exactly showing up. I hit Hardell, and I just start smashing down on, on the what on the on the um on the gas. And the only reason I start smashing is because I seen the police headlights behind me, but they weren't chasing me, chasing me. They were just, <laughs> you know what I mean, bro. We I it was coming towards Hall. I mean, uh, coming towards Coliseum again, and it was a tree that was had the stop sign. I didn't see the stop sign. I just kept on going. Truck was coming this way. I just seen that at the last minute. We both just said, "Boom!" I, he going the way I was going. I was going the way he was going. Yeah. Bro, I, we, I was after that. Yeah, that was the only accident I ever had, like real serious. Safe to say, I'm the safest driver in here. You might be. No, I'm the safest. <laughs> what you mean? You can't even talk about what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> you did say that. They hit me. Cause Cause they... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to let that simmer, right, okay? Right, right. But it, I, I'm, I'm going to just say this one more. The whole thing sued me. The, I think that it was one, I, I was going to uh, I was going to West L.A. at the time, uh, and I had my, my ex-girl in the car and a friend in the back. I'm speeding, and I think the truck, I think the diesel wanted me to die or something, because <laughs> even though I was about to Damn. run the, even though I was about to run the red light, he was about to make a left on, on Tulasianity from Rodeo at the time. I was about to run that red light, and you can tell as us being he like shame on you. As much as much if we being commercial drivers, we know when somebody about to do something. Yeah. So he looking, and he yeah. just start turning. And I'm like, shit, brake, turn, hit the thing, and then I hit somebody else's car right there. Mm. But I'm like, damn, he he fucked up for doing that. Even though I was no, about to run the red light. No, you fucked up for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame it on him. Red light. He like, how you gonna just not let me run the red light? <laughs> nah, that's crazy, man. But uh, yeah, nah, you know I'm pretty. I'm pretty safe. I just hit, you know what I mean, poles and shit. So, but, but a pole after. or a tree can't sue me or nothing like that. Right. True that. You know what I mean? I just got to fix the shit myself. True so, that. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, what's the injury y'all y'all had trying to be young, man? I mean, <laughs> when, when the last time y'all fell and shit? When we went skating. When we went skating. Yeah, that's the last time I fell. Mm. Yeah, same thing, same here. When skating? I was skating probably like yeah. a month ago, yeah. Yeah. Oh, recently. Yeah, but I had an injury where I was playing uh, football with some young kids, and one of the little oh, young shit, kids yeah. hit my leg right here. Wow. So then a couple of days later, we playing basketball. I go up. My shit go out of place in the air. Yeah. And then I land on my shit, you know. I'm, you know, oh, nigga, you can't just right. do, you can't just get out there <laughs> nah. like you. Oh, what you talk, you talk, you know, the kids be talking shit. You just get out. I remember one day they was talking shit to me, my kids, and I was like, what? So I started putting on my shoes, nigga. I went to lift up. <laughs> oh. I went to get up from putting on my shoes, nigga. The, my back was gone. <laughs> Bring oh, you need to take make me. it to the. I put, <laughs> I pulled, oh, I thought I, you was gonna talk about the time that y'all was racing that I got on film. I pulled something. Oh no, no, no! I did good. I, 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 I was here with it. I, you know, in my mind. Oh, you know, you don't put that on. But look, but look, like I, I, just, I all I did was uh, tie my shoes and I just got up, nigga. And something happened in my back that was like, nigga, don't take your dumb ass out there. That's crazy. And I was fucked up. I had to go to the hospital and get a little shot in my back and shit. But it, you know, uh, nigga, I got to stress. I got to stress before I do anything. That's man. what I'm saying. Yeah. You be take thinking your groceries your... up from one <laughs> yeah. you know? Hold on. Like, I'm tired of going through this shit. You feel like, <laughs> Fuck you. I'm hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even when you he jump up yeah. in groceries, when hey, you jump hey, up in the morning, hey, 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 I swear, getting groceries, you be trying to make one trip. Yeah. You got seven bags for in his real. head, eight bags in his head. You for real. Man, I'm, four, with... I'm five floors up. That's oh. why we hurt. You lucky. You got. You just got one story. Like you can just walk in right. the house and just put it on the thing. You yeah. can make two trips if you wanted to. I invested Dang, in a wagon, <laughs> bro. Hey, we used to we used to keep a, a basket in the house when I lived in Long Beach. We man, we was like, man, fuck this. We a had grocery a basket. Ba- yeah, grocery basket. Oh, grocery. That's Wait, I thought shit. you meant like <laughs> that's ghetto as shit. You, where you get it from? It didn't unlock. Wait, no, I didn't lock. I mean, it didn't lock. You seen it on the street? Uh, my son's mother grabbed it she was like bro she was like we we had in uh we put it in the back uh in the back on the patio y'all so y'all somebody to uh homeless person <laughs> every time we, yeah, yeah, I don't care every <laughs> time we, <laughs> to the car, like, we had we had more than eight to ten bags yeah 
We that's really, crazy. We, yeah, that's, you know, yeah, we be crazy. on the elevator like this with the bathroom. And that's funny because you can go in the grocery store with it. You ain't got to worry about nobody taking it because you ain't got to never leave. Nah, it, you better not take it to the grocery store. You better Why not? Leave it at the house. I mean, no, I'm saying so because, you you know, when you, you know what I'm saying, go to the grocery if they walk to the This is before they start store, locking them. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. yeah. You ain't got Y'all the reason why they start locking them. Look, but Maybe. the time. Oh, well, that, never mind. Y'all just had. Oh, I thought it was around the time when they was still locking them. Yeah. So, nah. That, yeah. that time, no, the uh, the the fall, the skating, the skating fall. That was on my birthday, like a couple years ago. I think my thirty, was my thirty ninth or forty fortieth birthday. Fortieth birthday, yeah. Brennan decided to book a a, a oh, little that's why I event make, at, the bo- at the bowling. Uh, out there in the, the valley. Bowling, uh, yeah, yeah. We not nah, wherever we was. We was way out somewhere. Ontario. And we take our dumb asses out there and go <laughs> and go skating. And not the bowling alley, skating, the skating, uh, ring. skating ring. Yeah, and we take our dumb asses out there. Now, prior to that, about a couple years before, I was on this. I was on. A, I went skating and I was out there like sweetness. You know what I mean, yeah, I yeah. was gliding. You know what I mean, I was doing my thing. But I think you don't know that your muscles and your legs don't. They not gliding yeah. when they ain't been really just moving like that. They don't really just get up and and do mm-hmm. that. So. I thought I was about to hit the dance floor and just, you know what I mean? And I was like a little baby deer out there, like, wait a minute. Like, what's going on? What's wrong? I think it's when you hit 40. I could, that, I I'm, that I, it might be, yeah. Nigga, I start growing gray hair and everything at right. 40. I'm 40, nigga. Listen. That's the same shit. Look. I think 40 is that age. It's just, that's when your body just starts saying, fuck everything. That's when I felt, that's when I found out I had heart failure. Yeah. 40. Yeah, I'm telling you. Tell okay. Me. Glad you're still here, my brother. Bye-bye. But, um, uh, <clears throat> Make it sad and shit. Yeah. <laughs> the same thing. That's, that's the 40. same shit. No, just, <laughs> <laughs> prior to that, it's a skating ring in Ontario we go to. Uh, and I'll, I, you know, I'll be out there doing it or whatever. And when I get to your birthday party, I'm like, okay, let me take my time. Take my time. I was it out is. there for a cool minute. I did probably about four or five laps. Then, you know, when I went around again, I'm like, okay, let me just take a rest. Once I said, once I said this, my left foot went this way, right foot went this way, my knees came in. Damn, it don't even be that too far. That's how yeah. you, you felt. You feel wild, right? Hey, you know and what I'm it like, is? And I'm like, oh shit! It be the power of the mind when you say, "I'm a rest." Your body said, "Fuck it now." Yeah, and I'm like, that's crazy. And I, and I was out for like, my knees was killing me for about two months. I ain't gonna they lie. Did. When I feel, I just laid there. <laughs> that was, it was funny, I, I, but then I realized you gotta get up because people think yeah. yeah. it'd be funny. You'd be like, "Man, shit, I'm down yeah. here now." Because you can't, you don't fall like you used to. Like for one, I know that fall was in slow motion. You could see it happening. Yeah, like, yeah, oh shit, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah. oh, and then you there. So listen. Like he he fell, I'm going around and shit. I did the same shit he did. Let me take a break. <laughs> no, <laughs> I tried. To, I felt like it was the skates or that. Some was off with that. I think it was the skates, but I went up to try to take Lame a break skates. too. And all of a sudden, I just went back. Boom! All yeah, I'm doing, is looking backwards? at, I felt on my back with no no nothing. No just, just boom. <laughs> When yes. I say I see it happens my, so quickly, I see my soul. You know your soul is <laughs> doing. So I'm looking in the sky, like that. I mean, you know, like hey, 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 question, 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 question. Y'all thought that was Usher out there just getting it? You was came too? No, I didn't make. I, I didn't make it that day. But see, I think what happened was I had my own skates. I brought my own skates, and I wasn't. I didn't. I, I, I you tell your own skates. Yeah. No, yeah, see, right. nah, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I brought my own skates, and I wasn't on them as much as I should be, but. To your fault. Boogaloo. Once I fell, I, I went and sat down and I'm like, shit, I'm rubbing my knees. I'm like, fuck. I'm looking down, looking this way. And all I heard was, boom. And I'm like, who the fuck was that? For one. And it's this nigga like <laughs> trying to trying to grab the wall. For one. Oh, that's funny. For I'm one. To grab look, the wall. I, I said I lay there and it was some strange to come up like, oh. By the wall. They was like, they was looking. The, what? It was a short wall. Uh, I, I didn't hold on. I didn't like try to grab. You know when the little. I know that wall got open. carpet on for some reason. Yeah. It, that's what it was. It yeah, had carpet grip, and it had a little like. It yeah. had a little like thing you got to step up on. Yeah. No, I, I thought I was just going. Boo. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> fell backwards trying to go up on the. Uh, yeah, the carpet tried to, to go carpet. up. I thought uh, it was just going to roll up. It was just going to be a smooth transition. Uh, 
They got filled up. Boom. Some little young mm-hmm. uh, girls came. They was like, oh, my God. Like, uh, they was looking for people that knew me. <laughs> and I was, who is he mom, with? Yeah, who, who is he with? Because I looked like I was dead. Like, that right. means, yeah. I was just laying down there. Like, life is just, this is what life has come to. Yeah. Now, I'm mad that you see me because. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't think I nobody seen, saw you. I seen you after right. I heard you. But I was already fucked up. I couldn't. I could not help you, bro. So this nigga, let's look at me. Y'all at the same time. Yeah. No, he already was hurt, so he yeah. was oh, over oh, there. Yeah, he was over there. And I guess he was just looking oh, yeah, at me like, fucked. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah, look, yeah. I, I finally get up. I get over there. I'm like, man, I just feel it. I see this nigga. <laughs> so we just sat there trauma bonding. I mean, <laughs> look, the crazy part, Michelle, like. You don't want to come back out here? I'm like, no, yeah. I ain't going back out there. I never went back out there. No. You didn't? No. Hell no. Nah. Nigga, my pooper. back was broke. I'm like <laughs> ice and spinal. Like, like that's it. it was spinal. It was my spinal. Spy- my back was. Hey, my dude, back oh, was I was about to say, that's what you look like Mike Tyson when he fell out there. <laughs> my back is broke. My shit was broke. For, God, I, I mean, my dude. shit fell for two weeks. You know, Nowadays we we getting older, bro. You, yeah. When you get hurt now, that shit don't just you can't take no motor. Yeah, no I told you, you go party, you need two days to uh, rest right. up. Yeah. You but one night a party, and that's only three, four hours. Ibuprofen, yeah. the aspirin, right. you be I muscle did. relaxers. Y'all ever get up like Ugh. all the time, <laughs> all the time. Every time I get up, this knee pop. Every time I get y'all up. fart when y'all pee. Yep, <laughs> I've been doing that since a kid. Let me see it. <laughs> no, my granddad now was different. Not, my granddad not, used to do that. I used to like, oh, back in the day, he's like seeing him do that. Like old man used to do that. Now, not not yeah. trying to get into too much. Only thing different shit with that is shit. That shit come out like a sprinkler now. At first, it used to be just like, <laughs> but you'd be like, what the fuck going on? That motherfucker said, like, <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Why she just gleek? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if oh, I ever own a house, shit. I'm not getting a toilet. I'm getting a one a men's urinal just to stand up. No, nah, for just real, be, just be man. Got to come piss you and wipe up like God. Man. Man. I mean, I, I I do that. I do that every time anyway. Like you gotta right, right. Like, you gotta but but my shit, my my shit is still straight. I'm not sprinkling yet. Right, right, I right, 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 right. But it was another nah, time. Ain't just like horrible. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's still straight. Even but it's the splat, like, it's just a little. It's just like, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. It's like it's start off like a sprinkle and go regular. Like, I got weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was another time I uh, tried to be young. I was playing ball with my son. I pulled the basketball court out, right? And I put it all the way up to, to 10 <laughs> feet. And I'm like, I'm trying to show him some shit. Like, watch this. So I dunked the ball. But when you I dunk on ten feet, I, I can dunk on ten feet. That's not it. Hey. Come on, bro. You gotta stream that. We gonna stream that. That's cool. 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 That's I felt and I when felt I went no no you know how you fucked up and when I went up when I went up I felt when this I went up. then when I came I saw back down Jesus. it was a wrap I didn't fall but I felt everything all sore your body came down I was I was out of commission for weeks, weeks. Told me had a story like that when I got up <laughs> <laughs> we're like when wait I got up? See, you never said you got knocked down when right, I got right. up who told that story uh-uh, that don't do it to him no, no. <laughs> I oh, said when I hold me oh, right 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 right, right. <laughs> He was like, I was yeah. like, and then I got up. Like, right, wait, what? Right, right. When well, we talking about accidents, I was like, hey, yeah. I wish he was here. Like, how the hell did you tip yeah. the truck? <laughs> Sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but yeah. 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 Oh, got- I was man. Oh, I ain't even going to get on. That's the sub. That's another right. conversation. Yeah, 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 I used to drive trucks. Yeah. Now, you definitely can't just fall like you used to, man, getting, mm-hmm. getting up to our age. You know what? I think I heard myself. We weren't even playing that. And I wasn't even trying to be young. I was at work. And I was when this is when I worked first started working for Amazon. I was delivering a package, and I tore my meniscus. But walking a package, I had four bags What's on each meniscus? side. Meniscus is a um, it's like it, near your, it, uh, it's like it's like where your ACL is, yeah. but it keeps everything tight. Those <laughs> ACL. <laughs> no, no, it's I know, a, I know. It, I know, it, it keeps it, it keeps it, it keeps your bone from it keeps your bone from. Bro- Bone to bone, rubbing, 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 rubbing together. together. Okay. All right. Okay. So next thing you know, lady, she was like, "Oh, my apartment right here." I'm like, "All right." I turned around, and part of my foot, like it had grass right here, and this is where the uh, walkway was, bro. I hit sideways like this, and all the thing you heard, you just, you just, just, I just felt it slip out of place. So when I got up, 
And I'm like, oh, cool. You know what I mean? I, shit, I was like, nigga, how the fuck I fall? Okay. It is what it is. I lost my balance, right? So I got up, and I took my first step. My whole knee just slid. Like, just, just the knee part right right here just slid. And it was just painful after that. And then I was just taking the package to the lady house. You be having some dangerous ass uh, injuries and shit. Did right. y'all ever uh, used to play the game where a nigga uh, slap some food out your hand while you're eating? Like, nah, you don't want I can't that. do that. I couldn't do that. All right. All right. I, it was, I was a survival mode. <laughs> I was a survival mode. I ain't mode. Laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, on every, if, if I, I like I was poor. Nigga. I was. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I, 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 know, I keep on saying this. When your mom have X amount of kids, and when you do get money, to, she do give you $5 to go to school, and, no, nigga, yeah. leave me the fuck alone. I felt the same yeah, way. He used to do shit like that. It was just yeah. weird. It was just was weird, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, I felt the same way. I didn't have it either. But you know, you had niggas around you that just. <laughs> yeah, you had goofy niggas around you. Like, right, 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 right. Like, like, it looked like, like he did it. Candy, it like I did, did it. it. I ain't gonna lie. I played too much as a kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, your mama yeah. had money. Would you don't but listen, it? see, look, I'll wait. I, I ain't, I don't go I, I don't know so is it worse to wait to the last bite or the first bite? <laughs> it's worse. It's worse. It's probably the last what's, what's bite. Is worse. Last bite is worse. I wait. No, but at least I let him enjoy a little you bit. Were, you anticipate <laughs> you know that last bite, right? You so I'm like, bam. You yeah, don't I'd want rather, that. I rather the last bite because if I can't eat it at all, I'm, I'm man. This I'm, nigga I'm, let me take one bite. Knock my whole sandwich out. Well, I got, I got a one I, up. I waited like to the last bite at least. Like, damn. <laughs> Look, we go to Burger King now. We broke. We ain't got too much money. They got the little, oh, that the little deals over there. We went to Burger King in the movies, nigga. We ain't they got no the little deals the over there. I eat my shit and I'm, they, I'm you know, it's getting good to you. And they all, they, it was small, you know what I mean? And I, I was gonna eat slap myself. <laughs> you had so an attitude that like, me. I'm like, okay. So I, 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 nigga, I waited. I only, I didn't even just get them right. I just waited, you know what I mean? To whenever he. Had and said he bought something, nigga. And I, and I ain't paying attention either. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what else I used to do? It just happened to me the other fucking day, man. Look, I'm walking up the street, some little kids walking by. I'm, I don't know who I was with, but I'm with like somebody, some kids walk by. I was like, bam. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I was like, that's like, yeah. payback yeah, like a motherfucker. Yeah. I used to walk up the street, right. people with me walking by. like, bam. And they'd be scared of the motherfucker. And we used to think that shit was funny right, to me. Right. And some kids just did that shit to me. They walked by. There was some females too on top. They was like, bam. And I'm like, <laughs> so she was about to take off yeah. on me, nigga. Like, and I was thought about when I was young, like, see, like there, yeah. yeah nigga, oh, nigga, wait till I get forty yeah, years old. Goes around, comes around. Wait till I get forty years old for a nigga to get me. Bam! And they hit you with, with the my part, OG, my part. No, for real, they did, they did. I was like, oh, my. like who you calling OG? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> nah, but that shit, that shit, great. Yeah, he used to do some bullshit yeah, like that. Yeah, candy. I, I, I'm cool with candy, but don't slap no food out my hand. Yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck what it was. It's, it's yeah. not it. And you back had to then, be fast. Yeah, back then. Yeah. If you, if if you, you was around fast, us back then, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This nigga threw my jacket in the mall. And this started nigga, running. This started nigga running. threw my jacket in the mall. Oh, on the uh, over the we was on the second floor. He threw it over to the first yeah. floor in yeah. the sprinkler. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know the mall up. used to uh, have oh, a little thing, the little pitch thing. My shit was just on the thing. That nigga chased me for two weeks. He couldn't catch me. We was the same bus. He still couldn't catch me. I'll take off before he could get me, nigga. Like, I was like, I was hot. I was like, nigga, when I catch you, for like And then I had to go downstairs and get my wet ass jacket and uh, walk on. Now that shit was fun though, man. Yo, Jack you know. was on the water fountain. Right, right, just shooted up. Cause you know, that's what made it worse. Like, yeah, I mean, when yeah. I looked over and I and he was like, <laughs> down to get your jacket. And he yelled and he like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looked like you used to terrorize people when you were 18, 19, around that right that age. Right, man. Some crazy shit. We used to have fun though. Y'all ever wear uh fake jury? Yeah. 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 Why not? I still yeah. do it to this day. Them two trays I had. Back in the day, the I wouldn't necessarily say fake. I used to wear silver a lot, like silver. growing up, there you go. like the little silver. That's not, not. <laughs> nah, silver ain't nah. That's what middle is class, silver? nigga. <laughs> Fuck it. Nine point two five, Sil man. Look, uh, silver is middle class, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because, because, like, will would you wear silver today? Yeah. What is silver? Mm. Come on, man. Like you said, they make forks. Shit, they kill werewolves, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and vampires and shit, right? Dragon right. glass. Right, right. Yeah, I, I will silver today. With the little diamonds in the silver little chain. Cuban like Cone, that. Yeah. yeah. It's white yeah, gold, nigga. I, I, will, I will wear fake I wore the jewelry. fake earrings when I was younger. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody had Cuban Cone. That's it. I wore fake earrings. That's it. I, I still wear fake no, Well, shit. I wore shit fake earrings. I, I had like four real chains, and then I had a fake one that looked real. I'm like, 
Shit, yeah. I ain't go no. You know, Tyrese and Ocho said <laughs> no, it's a few people that said they wear fake jewelry. I think Anthony Edwards said that too. He wear fake jewelry. He was okay. faking it. Yeah, he did. I don't wear jewelry no and more. And I, I respect that shit, man. It's like as a, as an athlete or a famous person, why would I go out and buy real jewelry? Y'all know I got money. Who cares? No, right. Real. Like why? seriously, who, who cares? cares? Like right. why the fuck am I getting this all this money just to say, oh, you look good? I'm gonna right. wear what I want to wear. You can't even get like half it. of that back. It, exactly. Unless you buy gold, like you get a gold, yeah, you can gold is, is profitable. But I'm I don't care. Just just to see you say, oh, you look good, man. Fuck you. No, My thing is like it's like being a, it's like being the richest person in the world, nigga. If you're the richest person in the world and you pull up, nigga, I, you supposed to have I'm a I, I you supposed to have all the finest things. If you come in the best car, you got all the jewelry. I know you got it. So it's like yeah. now you just kind of shitting on people and I just stunning on people like. I'm sorry, go ahead. Nah, but yeah, no, that's bad. it. I'm sorry. I want to say like, damn, I know somebody who like, but I don't know, it might be considered like sneak this in the nigga, but I know somebody like famous that were. <laughs> Jer- I mean, Jer- if you, it's, oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they gonna be like, bitch, you just trying to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to put him out there like that. Nah, well, I'll be no, trying yeah, to tell him, put by that clink clink shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But I mean, to hey, the shit. regular, like, man. at least it, like, it can seem real. Like, hey, we, yeah. at me, at me and this nigga was <clears throat> in a t shirt store trying to find some gold. Chain, just, just, hey, how much is those? I put it around my neck with a fit. Yeah. All right, never mind. When was this? Weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks two weeks ago. ago. Yeah. I didn't say weeks ago. A couple yeah. weeks couple ago. Weeks so ago. Two before we got here. <laughs> yeah, but. No, nah, you just <laughs> like, I, I just said weeks ago. This nigga said a couple weeks ago. I'm saying like weeks. Which one? I could have said, me, I, yeah, I said months ago, but nah, nigga, weeks, weeks ago, but. A couple weeks ago. <laughs> Say it right. <laughs> what I'm saying is, day. I don't, I don't care. I will, I'll get it. I'll get a gold chain that, and consider what 14 carat, 24 carat. I don't give a shit. Go play it, go play it. Because a lot of that shit, I uh, what's that? Uh, Michael Kors, them watches is fake, bro. They ain't got that was ain't real gold. Yeah, it's gold, but but I will, I'm, I will yeah. say, like, you, you had a topic. What's your favorite accessory? My favorite accessory is watches, yeah. Like, I will spend a little few hundred dollars on some watches. The I ain't gonna spend spent, thousands and shit like the most that. I spent with 700 on a watch, yeah. it was a bright list. I spent yeah. like 500 on some earrings. Mine yeah, is earrings. I like yeah. it. You know, you know. Yeah, like, every time I come around, say that. But give me a chain. You can see me wear a chain. I'll get it from uh, Amazon or, or the middle of the mall. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I used to, <laughs> I got like, like, you go and you see my Instagram. Store. I don't care. I got old pictures of like chains and jewelry on and all that shit. Like, I kind of grew out that shit because it, like, Attract a certain like attention yeah, that yeah. I don't want no more. That, and, yeah. then it, and then it ain't like it's real. They be thinking it's real and shit. Hey, no, man, it was real. Oh, okay. and that's my what I'm saying. I just, <laughs> I just didn't want like. Oh, you trying to be funny? No. I just thought about that. <laughs> I thought you were talking about how everybody. <laughs> nah, but it just give you like nigga attention that you don't want. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, I ain't got time now. As I, you know, am I get as I'm getting older, I want like. Like my wedding band, a, a, yeah, a watch, yeah. and a little something necklace, simple. something right. simple. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how we used to do it a long time ago. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying, nigga? Mm-hmm. And, and then it. I had this little chain. Y'all ain't knowing this little shit worth money, nigga. This watch that you think it ain't nothing worth. My you little know? chain worth more than your big yeah, chain. Yeah, for real. Like, just some subtle. Like, that's like, from. Nigga, no, look at that shit. Like, nigga, get your little ass out here with that little chain. What is it, friend? I say you. What is it? That's French Montana. That ain't old. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, if I if I was gonna do it for for a specific look or some shit, I don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, cause a lot of the, you see uh, most of these motherfuckers that do it got money in the bank and shit, got houses and shit like that. Yeah. Motherfuckers that look like they got money don't. You know what I mean, so you know. Well, y'all still got y'all hair. I was about to say, but ain't nobody bald like me. I was about to say, <laughs> what if they, it's like them niggas wearing that fake hair and shit? Like, you wouldn't try. You wouldn't try it. That's why I had kind of brought it up. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, so when I get married, right? No, I'll just play. Would you go? Would you, would you let them put the whole little fake shit on there? Because uh, because I know you gotta miss it. I do. I ain't gonna lie. Dude, I used to have ways. Niggas should be dipping. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. why. That's why I grew my hair. Up. I used to have ways until this, my my friend started. Nah, you definitely did have ways, yeah. bro. I tell my my friend start yeah, getting cowlicks. Nah, he did. He did that way. This nigga had two ways. He I, got like I, I, was, I was dipping on this nigga like crazy, man. Nah, yeah, nah. Y'all. Uh, yeah, bro, hey, had ways, hey, just because you, nah, yeah. you was in the car doing this <laughs> or on a bus doing this seventy hours, seventy two oh, hours out of a money? fucking day, that mean you have more weight. I ain't go. <laughs> I ain't said I watched you too for a minute. Like, nigga, you closer to it than me. I better not beat up and grab that. Huh? Nah, but uh, nah, nigga, I didn't have no choice but to cut my shit. I was looking like fucking. 
way like back. Like RoboCop. You know, I, your shit was way Robo back. You know RoboCop school. without yeah. the helmet, nigga? That's how I was looking. Ricky shit was back yes. here in middle school. I ain't gonna lie. I never told nobody this. I had let my hair grow one time, nigga, try to get some braids. With my forehead like that, nigga. I'm in the process, like, man. Man, the bitch that braided laughed so hard. Like, <laughs> I got, I paid her to braid him and take my shit out. Hey, hey Chico B shit is hilarious. Yeah, that's how I look, man. Yeah. I, I told you, nigga, that I paid her crazy. to braid my shit in and take it out. Right when she did it. Like, Damn. That's funny. I'm in, I'm in the process. I'm in the process. What, let, a my, let my shit know. <laughs> oh, oh. No, nah, no. Nah, let my shit grow. Yeah. Oh, you gonna okay. get dread? I'm gonna get locks, yeah. I want to dress. Bored. I should have got him. You must be bored. Why? Why are you gonna get locked? So what, nigga? Right. Right. Hey, you want to see you himself bored. look I had, different? Look, I had the earth curl. I had the waves. I was dipping yeah. like crazy. The Jerry curl. So now, you so know, different. now your forty. I had the braids. I had the braids for a week. That's why I got a beard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Trey songs. I mean, <laughs> God damn. That's why I got a beard. I can't do <laughs> shit up. Yeah. <laughs> see, and look, I, this is all I get, bro. Y'all niggas got all the shit. This is all I get. Push it up. <laughs> I had to cut mine down. Now it's just coming in all white. <laughs> Santa Claus. Man, it's not gray. Gray's different. This is white, bro. No, that's it gray. No, it's white. Gray. Hey, y'all heard about the uh the girl with two vaginas? What? Shit. What? <laughs> what? Two, two, Wait. Two two pussies. <laughs> he said you was gonna say vagina. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we towards the end. We gotta go a little minute without saying. Uh, I haven't heard. I haven't heard about. Yeah, the lady. She got two. Uh, let me see if I can pull the. Video. Now that's the threesome every night. You gonna pull the video? <laughs> I mean, vaginas. Vaginas. She ain't showing. Hey, I like that. I ain't never thought about that. My man said threesome every that's night. That's the threesome every you, night. You gonna you gonna both hoes? Will she be mad if you got one hoe more than the other? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what if you be like, I don't want that one tonight. It kind of stank. <laughs> <laughs> and do both of them have different cycles or is they at the same time? No, at the same time. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, okay. That's just a question. That's crazy. My All man. Right. <laughs> I ain't never thought about this shit ever in life. All right, so let's let's react to this and let's play the video. Um, That's crazy. Two vaginas. You currently have two vaginas. This is something that you were born with, right? Yes. When did you realize that this is what you had? So I knew something was wrong with me when I got my period when I was 14 because I would use a tampon and then I would still bleed. And I used to tell my mom, like, it's not working. And she used to tell me I was putting the tampon in wrong. I just didn't think there was another hole. Until I looked at it and then I looked in the mirror and I was like, whoa. <laughs> when I was 20, I just never really looked at it. So what does it yeah. look like? Sort of like a shot, like a shotgun. So you have like the labia, you yeah. open the lips, uh -huh. and instead of there being one hole in the pee hole at the top, at the top, yeah, there's two holes and a pee hole in the middle, and a pee hole in the middle of the two holes in the middle wall. Then internally mm -hmm. in your vagina, what does that look like? Each hole, each vagina goes to its own cervix. So I have two cervixes. It's wow. each one has its own uterus and then one ovary on each side. And they both sort of like angle out towards my hips, which is why sex feels so different for me in each vagina. What does it feel like in each one? It depends on the guy's dick, the thickness and the length and like the way it bends. And yeah. like the position, like there's so many factors. Like <laughs> yeah. You currently have two vaginas. This is something that you're born with, right? Yes. When uh, did you realize that this is Hey man, I would ask her, do you like you sex in like one more than the other? I gotta, like a shotgun. I gotta see it to believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody I better act. You know how niggas smoke weed, niggas fuck around, be like, give me a shotgun, go yeah. take a pinch. No, that's crazy. That's crazy. She said it's like a shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's like you can just go yeah, either. Yeah. Right, right. She got a double barrel. You wouldn't yeah. want it lined up then yeah i'd rather still next. like yeah but then the ad because you don't know which one but no two <laughs> coochies is they so they side by side or are they vertical they like side by side like a, shotgun, side like a side. double barrel yeah. you can go <laughs> you can go any hole you want to that's that's but it's not but it, 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 i mean variety like fucked up for everybody a like variety team, like a young on. guy trying to find a hole that's fucked up because he gonna be thinking he can't but find a hole it, though no, what I'm saying is like easier to find a hole. He gonna be shit. tripping, thinking like, "Dang, I didn't put my finger in this bitch booty or something." And she got two coochies or something. Like, what if she don't tell nobody? That'd be a cold like, low, uh, right. She can, she can. So I want to. She can say I'm a virgin. And I know. Save the one. She can save one. Yeah, she can save one. I'm saving this one for my husband yeah. and this one for the street. So if y'all met a girl like, <laughs> she's something like a oh. hoe. <laughs> she for yeah, the street. Like, one for marriage. One for marriage and one for the street. This one for the streets. <laughs> Don, don't put your. Right, don't, don't put that up. <laughs> I told him no. 
And I was right. Oh, ah, great. Don't no, go. Oh, oh, I told God, him, no, he put it in the other way. He put it in the other way. He put it in the other way. Like, well, she told God, me no. Please. So you uh, oh, wow. shit. Did she piss out of both of them? Yeah, she said they both got the You don't like, piss out no, of them. No. Yeah, yeah. No, no. It, you know what it's, 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 like, yeah, no, you know, Dude, it got said, like a like, yeah, like, pee hole. Like, I don't got a pee hole. She said the she pee hole was in the middle. She said it's in the middle when it's separating. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so. You that, know he don't so eat with <laughs> he never ate that part. Leave him alone. I'm just playing. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit, boy. God oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Damn. Yeah, so she said it's in the middle, man. It's in, the, it's in between both of them. That's some weird ass <laughs> shit. You got two normal coochies and a pee hole in the middle. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Wouldn't it be like how the normal, like, ain't the normal PO under like the clitoris or something? Yeah. Right. But her shit in the middle. <laughs> yeah. So. Why had to That's why. That's why I say I don't right. believe it. Right. I'll be out here clowning like a motherfucker. <laughs> like, I'm cutting one. Did go? You gonna cut one off? <laughs> God damn! No, nah, you true. You gotta say you what gotta preserve great one. Too, is like right. You gotta preserve one. Like, I'll be like how what we said with yeah. old girl. One one. If I had two dicks, you ain't cutting both one off. You gotta preserve Hell one, right. one, man. But what? Zara, what are you preserving it for? One is for the streets and one is for marriage. One is for marriage. So your well, wife can say you're smaller than the other. Exactly. <laughs> I ain't cheat on you. What if one smaller than the other? <laughs> I'm gonna use the biggest one. You know what I mean? She gonna want you to use both of them. Pause. Not, not, not <laughs> like, like both woes. Like, right, you know, right, right. You, can, you know. Nah, but that's wild, man. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. Cause y'all be with a woman for two though. <laughs> yeah, that's double the woman, nigga. What? Double the woman. Had a sexual. That's something the nigga love. Like two buttons. <laughs> so oh, one person. I, one so, person. Same attitude. So when, I'm yeah, a, that's so only part of the right? When exactly. she <laughs> when she gets uh when she gets pregnant, I wonder how that happens. Like, mm. If one of you them, probably gotta have a C-section. Yeah, that's crazy. <clears throat> Head coming out this way and the arm coming out the other one. <clears throat> Wow. Yeah, you get to work like that. No, she gonna be ripped apart. <laughs> no, you ain't hearing me. Like, is like, hold on, we gotta push him back. Is I know that's out? what I'm saying. She gonna be ripped apart. Like this. Yeah, like this. She God makes two, have to have a three men either an excellent father. So yeah, she having she having kids, man. Kids Tommy. is a uh, kids is a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, it's a blessing. God makes two, three. You just had one recently. Oh, three men, uh, either an excellent shit, father. I had a or... baby, and my daughter just had a baby. My daughter had a baby like three days hell. ago. So I'm like, said, get him. <laughs> nah, my, me and my dad did the same thing. I, I, my daughter's older than her uncle. What? Oh yeah, that is. I'm not shit. My daughter, uh, baby, go have like six, seven. Well, seven uncles and uncles. nephews. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, and daughter? they're all older than her. Yeah. How? Because they they uncles and nieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but said they, your daughter. Yeah, because if they sisters and brothers. His daughter had a baby. Yeah. Right, but well, like, she just had a baby though. Yeah. <clears throat> and then so my you know, so my little my baby, my three month old, he's a uncle. Yeah. And his uh niece oh, is a month. Oh, oh, I mean God, God. brand new a month. A month uncle bro. to his 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 daughter's baby. Yeah. I'm older than my uncle. Right. Yeah. Wait, Wait, no, the it, uncle older. The uncle older. So if you have a son, that's not your daughter's it's my right. daughter's brother. Huh? Right, baby. right, right. Oh, you Which mean would her make baby. his daughter yeah, her his baby. Daughter her baby. baby. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm they, like, they uncles and aunties yeah. now. Right, right. And so right, they're like, right. my auntie, I'm an uncle. Right, right. I'm like, right, right. Right. Hey, what y'all talking about, nigga? I'm a grandfather. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How you feel being a grandfather? Uh, same way I feel being a father. See, when you got eight kids, see, one yeah. extra one don't really seem like right, a soccer. Right, right. No Come on in. Come right, on right, in. Right, right, right. Take along, see what they doing, right, fall right, in line. Right, 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 you know what right. we'll be just you fine. think you're going to be a grandfather that, that watch your grandkids? Yeah, I'm already looking forward to it. Got me want to move all the way out there where she at just for, real? To, for all of us to be close. She yeah. got a son or a daughter? A daughter. That's what's up, man. Yeah, congrats, bro. Yeah. And all my kids look alike, so she man, she look like them. It's it's kind of mind blowing. Right, 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 right. You still you still you still with the same lady, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We all got the you know all my kids by Crazy the same question on line. Yeah, no, no, so, no, I'm saying <laughs> so. So I seen a post the other man, day. If I and, been, uh, man, y'all would have been on my head. Look, look, I seen a post the other day. They say, uh, dang, that's crazy. <laughs> All your kids look like twins. They was like, yeah, because they got the same daddy. You know, how they be used to everybody having yeah. right, different right, right, daddies right. and shit. Because like, I, and I asked that because he said eight. 
And usually, like, from back in the days, right. everybody would have the same parents. And it's not taking anything or mm-hmm. talking about you. But nowadays, like, when you have somebody, like, over three kids or four kids, it's probably with yeah, different, different people. Well, yeah. Like you know, Cam Newton so, with eight kids. I already knew as a yeah. kid, I didn't want that type of headache. Go on to this next one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, you got uh, Cam Newton and we got um, Nick out here, you know, spreading their seed. They got, what, 20 kids between the two? 20? For real? Yeah, you could don't Nick can't have twelve, and he, and he has eight, right? They got twelve. Twelve kids. Yeah, Jeez, like shit, 12 I can't. That's talk. crazy. I got eight. So, but that that was my point, and what I said to sure. you, like you know, they got different baby moms, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and you know, you still you, you and your wife are still together doing the thing, but for them, their whole thing is you know, <clears throat> I'm cool. I can spare my seed. I don't have to be, you know, family oriented or or have the traditional family. To me, it seemed like uh, they 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 take their money as yes, uh, just about to say that. substitution for being there. Exactly. And they both had an interview with with Doctor Bryant, Doctor Cheyenne Bryant, and she read them. She read them their rights, man. Let me uh, let me play the clip for yeah. the people. <laughs> God makes two, three men: either an excellent father, horrible man or excellent husband horrible father or you're blessed to get both Mm. and he said make sure that you get if you have to choose one you get the man who's a better husband than a father because as a woman that will be yeah that'll benefit you as a woman because a man is going to be there for their kids at the level that they love the mom and i find that to be you could disagree but i find that to be very true meaning the father usually loves that child at the level that it loves that mama. And so that's why men with multiple baby mamas, I'm not saying for you, mm. you can kind of see where the favoritism or the time goes based on the love and respect they have for that woman. And my dad's a twother, that's, well, statistically, that's a big reason why the divorce rate is high because of what you just said, people putting kids first. I beg the different, even though my dad agrees with you too. He's, <laughs> he's just the dad, he puts us first. He don't care who walks, we come first. So he's been an excellent father, but not the best of man. Just Okay, so. Hey, uh, before we get to that, that same woman, isn't she just recently out of relationship and she going through all these things that she talking about right now? So a lot of time when I listen to her, she come kind of come off as bitter, bro. Like, Is she? She's she divorced I, I, I can't, if that's the same one, I can't, like. Um, you threw that out I'm there. Tell you you she, I, I, man, I tell you, I just seen an interview She going to come her. back like, I, I think I it was. Think um, <laughs> she going to say, you low, you low. Uh, <laughs> vibration. Vibration. Oh, vibration. And that's all the words she was using, and right. like she was real. Like I'm gonna okay. find a clip though. Bro. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that. We need uh, those clips of her, <clears throat> but she basically told uh, Cam Newton and, and, and uh, Nate Cannon that y'all deal with low v- vibrational women because they allow you to do these things as far as just impregnate them. You have these babies, but they're not looking for um, a traditional household with the wife, with the man and the woman raising the child together. Calling it broken homes. And, yeah, and she and, and, and I don't know if she called it a broken home, but it's considered a broken home. A con- broken home. Okay. So. Uh, so as far as what she was speaking on, as far as the three types of men that she felt like mm-hmm. God created, which one bad father. If you're a bad father, you're a good husband. If you're a good husband, you're a bad father, or you could be both. Do you think there's some truth to that? And if you do, what would you place yourself as? What would you consider yourself as? Um. I, I guess I'll go first. All right. Um, horrible husband. Ex- I mean, uh, excellent father. I'm just going to go through all three. Excellent father, but horrible uh, husband. It's just how your mindset is as a dad. I mean, you can be an excellent, you can be an excellent dad. No, I'm saying, what are you? Though? No, no, no. I'm saying this, this is my thought process on the, on the, on the um, topic. Um, me, I feel like, I feel, I feel like, I want to say, Excellent father, but horrible. I'm not a husband, so I can't say husband. Boyfriend, husband, whatever. You know. Uh, no, I would. Uh, no, a mind. mate, a partner. Right, no, yeah. a partner. I know I got you. No, I would say I'm blessed to be both. Why I say that is, I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, I don't mind being in a relationship, but at the same time, I always put. I always put my partner's kids just like they're mine. Like mm-hmm. I don't make no differences. I don't do nothing different. If I do for mine, I do for hers as well. So I mean, even but even with the even with the 
the relationship part. I feel like I always put her first before, you know, in the relationship before it become the kids, because that's one of the things I do feel like uh, keeps a healthy relationship is putting and understanding what your partner is going through. And then being a father, just always being there um, as well as uh, uh, mentally, physically, or emotionally. Um, I speak, I speak with them. I try to speak life into the kids as well as uh, my mate. And let, and let me say this before you go, words are semantics. I think horrible is kind of like, I don't know if that's the best word because right. that, that don't fit everybody. <clears throat> right, right. Like you, right. maybe you not, you don't feel like you're horrible, but maybe you feel like you need to improve yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Are you, I mean, you know, I, I, I would, okay. Then I like the way you say improve. Yes, I could be, I could improve to be a better mate. I think, I think, I think there's leaps and bounds of seeing, um, seeing how you guys do it, seeing how you guys operate of being in a marriage. Um, to what I'm doing right now, yeah, I feel like I can improve. I don't mean to make, but being a dad, I mean, uh, as parents, we get thrown stuff all the time because we have to deal with uh, kids' mental emotions, what they go through at home, what they go through at school, what they go through on their phones, what they just in, interpret it all together and what they bring inside themselves. And we have to control ourselves. as We have to control how and how we say and talk to our kids. Definitely. Um, <clears throat> as far as me, I'm not going to say I'm excellent at either, either of them. Uh, I try my best, you know, I, I, you know, when you, are, when you are aware and you can hold yourself accountable of certain things, you can see where your faults are and you're like, okay, I got to fix this. I got to fix this. I got to do this better, do this better. So I'm not going to say excellent. I just say, I'll try my best. And if I sit here and say I'm excellent, my wife can come on here and tell you something different. My kids can come on here and tell you something different. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm not, I just say I know I can do better. Right. Right. Man, I, um, I'm trying to be positive, but I be thinking that's some bullshit. Like, it's just, it ain't like, Speak, man. of course you're going to be either a good dude, or a good father, mm -hmm. or are both like man we all want to be both you understand yeah. what i'm saying there is no i don't think that's a real like type of question you can answer you know what i'm saying as a real father as a person that's been with somebody like more than 10 years like you know it's shit nigga we still be going on day by day still trying to be better and do better and learn each yeah. other like nigga it ain't never a dull moment in a relationship or dealing with kids like you never do nothing perfect Every time you look back, when you, even when you're thinking you're doing right, you still look back and be like, fuck. Yeah. I yeah. could have handled that different. I could have been a better person. That's just life. That just right. go like, you know what I mean? So for a person to be like, so you think you're a good person, a good husband, or a good, like, it's setting you up. Like, you know, and I don't like them type of questions. Like, yeah. when, you know, I be feeling like women trying to be like, nah, I'm all of them. I'm mm -hmm. whatever I be at the, that year, that month. That, that time, day. what I'm going through in life. That's where yeah. I. That's when I'm at. For I sure, like that. Sure. Like, yep. What the fuck? Because at the end of the day, you got to give yourself credit. She's trying to set you up with the questions she be asking. Yeah. <laughs> now, sometimes you, you have to praise yourself because you got to think about what you go through to handle all of this as a man. Like, you have to handle your being a protective provider and an emotional leader in the household. You got to think of you. And honestly, I, I, man, it's a whole lot of stuff that I know each one of you guys are going through. And it just... You know what I mean? We have to pat ourselves on the back at all times. Because sometimes, five, yeah. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, for real. No, I'm saying I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying, like, cause sometimes, like, and it's like nobody really know what we go through mentally, um, unless and, you know, because we really don't get asked that question. And you know what I mean? Besides us going there, and half the time when we do, we give this vague. Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Because I'm good. we 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 you often don't, have to place it aside. Yeah. Our our thoughts and our feelings. We have to place it aside to tend to, you know, what's going and you on. You always the bad guy because of that. Sometimes yeah. we don't have to work with uh within like how we feel. We gotta work with what we know is best, you right. know. And sometimes that over Trump. So to your kids and to your woman, you mean you being overbearing, you being too strong, like you being too like headstrong, like you need to ease mm -hmm. up, but then nah, sometimes you gotta like that be that person, that, you know. You gonna yeah. be the bad guy because right. you the enforcer, right. exactly. Right. You know. That, that Man, be, that's go ahead. That's nah. That's 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 real. But um, I I just think uh like kind of what you were saying is it, really no perfect. It's like it's we can't like you said we can't sit here and say we perfect at anything, right? Mm -hmm. So that question is just not for a human being that that's that holds their self accountable that knows themselves and stuff like that. It's like I'm not 
I'm not perfect at anything. I'm trying though. Mm -hmm. Where I'm giving full effort at all all things. I'm trying to be a better husband. I'm trying to be a better father and stuff like that. But you, you can't. Um, I don't think I don't think God creates anything perfect though. You know what I mean? Right. I feel like God God uh you know in uh, His own image. Yeah, I feel like yeah, we 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 just we we flawed humans and we just trying and we trying to figure it out and we still trying. I don't feel like there's an end date on trying to improve and trying to be a better person. It's like you continue I'm continuing to try to be a better father and I may make improvements and be a better father than I was that, uh, to my younger kids than I was to my older yeah, kids because yeah, I'm learning. I agree with that. And I may be a better husband I was in my 40s than I was in my 20s because mm -hmm. I'm a different version of myself. I'm continuing to grow to be a better version of myself. Still flawed, but still right. learning, but still willing to grow. And um, you can turn that question around to women. I, I don't know if a lot of women would turn around and say, uh, cause it, it, do they make perfect, perfect wives and perfect mothers and all this? Everybody's flawed. Mm -hmm. So you could turn that around on, on, on them too. So, um, yeah, like you, like you said, I think that's, um, it's a conversation starter and it'll get people typing and stuff like that. But, but realistically, it's like all of us are flawed in some kind of way. God is not creating nobody to just be perfect at everything mm -hmm. and, and to be a perfect, how, how can I be perfect at something? I've never experienced before. I've never been a husband. I've never been a father. And even uh, worse when I've never had these things in my life or never mm -hmm. even saw it. So that's shit. I'm, I like, I'm I like trying. I'm working. That. You know what I mean? I like that you said that we're experienced things that we never dealt with. It's like me being a dad when I've never seen, like me being a dad now when I've never seen a dad be a dad on the reverse side of me being like, I have my 13 year old. I never had a dad at 13. So me dealing with what I'm dealing with him is new. It's like, Damn, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing this? Did I cuss him out? I mean, not really cuss him out, but did I do this right? Did I do this wrong? It is like I'm always evaluating myself. Like even right now, I haven't talked to my daughter about three weeks, and it's like, am I evaluating myself on? It's like, am I handling the right way? Because you know what I mean. I'm dad. And like I call her, but it's like you know she needs to call dad, or you know what I mean, or other situations that I'm dealing with on a on a on a regular, and it's like am, and it's like. I always question myself and they say never question yourself but i always question myself if i'm doing it the right way because of i feel you should question yourself because if you don't yeah. question yourself how you grow how you right. like know you're making mistakes how you, you know if you're doing though. good yeah. like mm -hmm. you under, i feel like when they say don't question and don't ask they want you to be in that same little spot that same little like that's unreal or you don't care if you care right. you're going to hold yourself accountable right you're going to question you're going right. to look back step back and say Damn, I could have did this this way. Knowing is half the battle. If you don't right. know what you need to fix, then not like. Right. And if you feel like you're right in every situation, even with your kids, then yeah. you're not thinking realistic. Right. Yeah. I've been right. wrong with my kids and thinking, damn, did I, I, I know I didn't handle that. I could have right. handled that better. Man. You know what I mean? Sometimes it'll take another kid you had to realize. It had been years. You, you didn't have another baby. And that subject came up and you was like, dang. Yep. I was too hard on my baby. Right. Mm -hmm. As a man, I didn't went back. Right. And apologize to my daughter, like you know, I didn't even realize until just now. You probably think I'm crazy yeah, for talking about this, but I think it's important for me to tell you that man, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't handle that right, mm -hmm. and I just I want you to know I, I love you, I and I was young, and don't look at your sisters or your brothers and think that they different. It's just that I'm a different person, right. and when when you was younger, I was a fool. That's important. That's but closure. I tried. I'm sorry, and I love. That's closure you know? because you don't right. know how it affected her at that time. Right. And right. The fact that you came back. And she didn't even have to say nothing either. Exactly. I had to so, realize it on my own. Yeah. And it made me think about just a lot of shit like, dang. Bro, I feel like yeah. that's something that we doing in this generation. And uh, and I don't know if our parents, not saying they, but it's like, I think it's harder for them to kind of do that. Not all parents. I'm just saying some parents because shit, they were surviving. They was figuring it out. And they come right. from a different generation that yeah. they went through. And they yeah. like, shit, did you know what I went through? Yeah, like, right. that nigga, I had it. We had it good. <laughs> right. Get your yeah. ass down. Right. 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 And I understand and I no. get it, but it's right. like each generation you're supposed to grow. Right. And you're supposed to change and break yeah. that kind of cycle. And break so. that. Yeah. So I don't blame them and shit like mm -hmm. that, but yeah. No. Especially as a parent, boy, you start seeing right. shit as... Like, yeah, you start having you, grace and understanding. And like, more ooh. forgiving, more right. understanding, yeah, yeah, like... Yeah. They was really only human. Right. I expected my mama to be right. superwoman right. because she was superwoman. Right. So the little yeah. flaws I was complaining about wasn't shit. Right. Yeah. Man. And we don't know the shit that she did the that more, the more we don't know about. Got, you I know don't know saying? the details. We don't. Right. Yeah. The more kids you have, the more you just. I mean, the more like like you, like when you said what well, the mother is holding a whole lot of stuff in, bro. Mama had eight kids, but then it's like the worst of us was the first four. 
my little brother, my sister, they stayed and stuff all the time. My mama stayed on their ass because they always did dumb shit. But it was just them looking for attention. But they never understood what mom went through. It's like, then it's like, you know, you fast forward to us being adults. Mm-hmm. Us being adults. And it's like, bro. But I mean, but that kind of ties into the next one. It's like, you know, our children the most guarded dealing with their parents. You know, <clears throat> it was a it was a post I was looking at and uh there was a conversation between uh a lady, a young lady, and a man. He said something. What's our What's kids. overall podcast? I want to shout out Kenya. The uh, Kenya uh, keepsakes or something Kenya, like that. Kenya's keepsakes. Kenya's keepsakes. Shout out to her. I knew her for. Shout I knew her, her since elementary. Shout out to her. I'll yeah. be checking her out. Shout out to you. Subscribe yeah. to her page, man, and go oh, check her out. Yeah. She's doing a lot of relationship topics definitely. and all things like that. Yeah. So Kenya yeah. keepsakes. Uh, um, and she was having a conversation with this young man, and he was saying something about how people should be vulnerable and stuff. And he mentioned kids. And it just had me thinking, like, I wonder if, because as men now, if you look at it at a, in a broad space, most adults is coming into um, expressing themselves yes, and dealing with mental issues that they had back in the day. Unknown so territories. I wonder if kids are more guarded with their parents because they don't want to be looked at as disappointment or... They don't know how to talk to, you know, the adults and stuff like that. So I was just asking if kids could be more guarded as far as expressing their feelings, even though we're allowing them to express it, but they don't know how to communicate. I would say, yeah, I would say, yeah, because it's like they don't feel that we can. You know, I don't think they think we can understand them to a certain extent. They look at us like we. Dad is always talking to me about this, this, and this, and what it is. Like, like, I, like I stated earlier, my son when he had the uh, 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 ski mask and hoodie walking down the street, it's like he was just doing it out of just plain. He thinking he was cute, and then me talking to him is like you know, and the whole. But the whole time I'm I'm speaking with him, it's like you know you can speak as well. Mm-hmm. So you don't you don't have to be you don't have to be quiet if you feel like you want me to know something you can talk. Right. Oh no, nah, uh, this it's cool, Dad. And it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, I feel like you said guarded. I feel like he don't feel like I'm going to understand what he's going to say. Mm-hmm. And like I tell him, I my, one of my main things that I try to do is relate. I try to relate with my kids because I think about it when I was 13, what was I going through? Even though it was two totally different spectrums from 1993 to 2024. I understand it's two totally different, but you know what I mean? But I still try to understand what they're going through. Uh, at school, at home, on social media, how they, and, and then the, the, at the ultimate thing is how they Parenting. look at themselves. And then that's what they're looking at it exactly. like too. It's weird. You know, you know, I was going to ask you, did you, uh, I think sometimes making sure they understand that you kind of, you relate a little bit and you understand like, like how you said, that's a, that's a shiesty mask. It's like, they be thinking we so out of the loop that we don't know shit and we don't yeah, know what's going what, on and we yeah. so uncool. And this is like, Man, I'm just wondering, it's like how we used to sag in the back in the days. Mm-hmm. Not sag, mm-hmm. but it's like you wear your pants early. And our parents looked at us and grand, especially older grandmas mm-hmm. and grand grandparents looked at us like, what the hell? Why are you doing that? We ain't we ain't doing it trying to be cool, but it just yeah. feel kind of comfortable to yeah. us, right? Yeah. So for them, it's just like, shit, this this feels kind of good to me. Just how they wear sweaters and shit. We don't understand that shit, hoodies and shit. So it's just like if you kind of break it down to them, like, look, I know why you wear it. I know what that is. I know the shiesty mask. I know what mm-hmm, it is. Uh-huh. I know what kind of look cool. But you got to understand where we live at and what can what that can represent yeah, and how they yeah. can look at you. Exactly. I know it looks good, son. That, that yeah. I mean, yeah, hey, you look, but, but I'm just saying what it can bring <clears throat> along and what they see when they see that and what they see, what they how they view you. You know what I mean? So break it down to them that you understand why he's wearing it and you kind of get it. You may, I'm like that. I said, I will wear it, but I get it. I see what you're doing. I see mm-hmm. it, but I need you to understand this side of it. You know, I what had I mean? to break that down to my mom's because my nephew was doing music videos. And when I peeped out the video, I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay. And he, you know, he had the double, the double cup styrofoam. She, like, she, don't, yeah, even yeah, know. she don't know what it is. And right. I'm just breaking it down to her. But my thing is, everything is a cycle. Yeah. The only difference is, is social media, everything is being highlighted. But what you're doing, it's been done in my generation. It's been done in your grandmama's generation. Been done in generations prior to that. Different versions of it. Just different versions of it. 
So you can you think that you can get in the way. I know exactly what's going on. Mm-hmm. I tell my kids, I tell my nephew, I'm old enough to know better, but I'm young enough to still know what's going Cause on. Because you know, you the bridge. Because yeah. Now you can tell your mom, mom you don't even. But, yeah. Right? Don't, yeah. But don't all that sound like cliche? Like when you was raised, what was they telling you? The same, same shit. Thing you tell <laughs> your kids. Same shit. So you got to remember that when you teaching your kids mm-hmm. and telling your kids like, it's a chance this nigga's not listening to me because yeah, it's funny. he I be, think I'm just being yeah. a parent. Right. I be and dead and talking it, to think that. It's going to take them to uh, go through it bit. to like understand. And I, you don't stop. You don't stop. You keep going. Because as life go on, as you know, going through life as a young man, you don't realize until you went through all them little right. stages that they right. try to tell your stupid ass and just stupid hopefully God ass. hold your hand and they hand and guide them through it while and nothing too bad happened. Shit. That's what I'm saying, where they can understand the same way we did. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Because it's a lot that we was told not to do that we still had to experience ourselves. It ain't nowhere in hell I would be catching two and three buses and walking four miles to see a female and knowing ain't no bus is going to be running <laughs> when your you leave do, Imagine your Knowing kid your breath ain't going to leave. Ain't no bus going to be leaving right. when you leave her out. <laughs> but all you cared about was getting there. I'm going to get there. <laughs> the rest yeah. And the rest happened to be figured out, you yeah. know, but still, like, you I went know. to buy my school clothes in sixth grade. Going to sixth grade, 56, Man. I went to the Lamo, bought my two, yeah. bought my two clothes. Like, right. bought the train to a bus to the Man, train. Man, I was 10 years old thinking about this, like, 11, 10 with my sisters and my friends. Catching the bus to the Long Beach right. Mall. Long Beach Mall. I went to the Dramo Swap Me, caught the bus yep. to the train. Like I was yeah. doing but I was we, talking my mama was told a, me, yeah. It I wasn't a, a different no, world. I went to just, uh, the Hot Thor Mall when the Hot Thor Mall was open. Still, we was just young. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you can't yeah, imagine your walk. kid knowing, being even out as late as yeah. we was at. Going got, to places I'd be going. scared about him emptying the trash. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you made me feel better. God damn, you all yeah. understand. I'm looking at even my 11 year old. I'm looking like, hey, let me go outside and make sure. Hey, bro, you just made me feel a whole lot better about myself. Because my stupid ass would be like, I don't, I don't be want to be weird, but I'll get the people out the door. No, yeah. yeah. that long, man. That's how I be the same way. <laughs> because we know how quick shit can happen. Right. Like, and then, you know what like, I'm saying? I got a boy that used to do burnt out missions going to see right. a girl mm-hmm. on right. the east side, catching the right. bus and shit. Like, you know what you're doing? He know what right. he was doing, but he, like you said, he just wanted to get there. Just wanted to get there, yeah, nigga. So like, we could have died, nigga. Yeah, yeah nigga. So many times. For real. For real. Yeah, man, but uh, we definitely got to uh, talk to our kids, open up to our kids. Me and Amir have been talking. We had some conversations. We talked today, and we've talked about talking, and I've mm-hmm. talked to him because it is a learned behavior, and it, did tri- it does trickle down to your kids, and they'll start mm-hmm. doing the same things yes, to their siblings, to their mm-hmm. kids. Right. Mm-hmm. If yeah. you don't break that yeah. cycle, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So we got to break it. I was telling him, it's like it's not enough. So I understand where it comes from, but I can't keep saying Even like Nick was saying last time, like, okay, if you know this, then nigga, go do it, and that's true. It's like you know where it comes from. That can't be the same it's excuse. It's not that like, easy though all the time. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not. But it's like I, we got to start somewhere. You got to start. Yeah. We got to start mm-hmm. somewhere. And you got to kind of break the cycle. And it's like I can't be. I can't let the damage and things for me and the trauma that I went through and what I didn't get. I can't let it trickle down to them. So it's like that's that much alone. Even the mirror telling me like I should be talking to my brothers. I don't even want to put our conversation. But uh, yeah. he he wants to get better at certain things. But. And I know where it kind of stems from, and it's like, damn. But he acknowledges that. He that's acknowledges it. That, he acknowledges that's, that's it, it, but it's just like it's still like you said. It's it's easier said than done, yeah, yeah. even for him now. Mm. So I know it's a learned behavior, and it's a trickle down effect. So we gotta kind of be better. We gotta, cause it's like shit. I can't, I can't get on him if I ain't doing the same thing. I mean, right. so yep. you know, yeah, man. Uh, What's next, man? One of y'all, Ricky. Won't you, won't you get, take us to the next topic, man? <laughs> yeah, Ex- acceptance from uh, here. Where, where we, we at in time? We y'all. can. Uh, y'all want to uh, end it? Let's end it with the last one. The last one, man. If you, yeah. If I can bring back one person, who would it be? Only one person and why? Oh shit! I've lost a lot of people, so that's the crazy. I don't know. Um, damn, man. I would say my uncle who just passed, man. Nigga gave me a lot of game. Man, he realized he was giving me until. Like, you know, towards the end of his life, like mm-hmm. a little bit right before he died, you know, the nigga, you be, he was like the black sheep of the family, but you you tend to learn why people be the black sheep of the family as you get older. Your know, family will make you think people ain't shit, yeah. you know, or make you think that they this, this, and that and the whole right, time. $10,000. They doing that. fuck shit and he just the one that ain't standing for it. Or they stand on certain principle, they being too soft and he the one that's the like, right. the muscle. So they not used to like, 
certain way that he coming, but certain things need to be handled a certain way. Mm -hmm. And we all got that aunt, uncle or family member who like, the family don't quite see their method. They don't agree with how they go about things or how they speak or how they live. And like, but he the realest one out of everybody. And then the, he'll tell you too, why are you growing up? Nigga, if you don't do this, you're gonna be like whoop de whoop. Mm -hmm. you, you're listening to your mama. She don't know, nigga. I'm trying to tell you, nigga, you better go whoop whoop. And then later on, you'll be like, fuck. He was it's time to, to be, on. yeah, nigga. My mama, you know, it's my mama being be my man. mama. Yeah. But as a man, she ain't understand this part that yeah. I needed later on that I'm gonna need. Like, she, she's kind of like I, shielding me as what mother's supposed to do. And this nigga telling me, and I, it was hurting my feelings at the time, like, because he talking about my it's mama. Hard to go get your but mama. he not talking about my mama. He talking yeah. about life. He teaching me, like, yeah. nigga, no. She don't understand, nigga. You don't understand right now, but you going to remember this conversation I'm having. Get your nigga man up and quit acting like, nigga, no. This not one of them situations, nigga. You need to, right. nigga. Everybody ain't going to be here. I ain't going to be here. Your mama ain't going to be here, nigga. You going to be on your own, nigga. Nigga don't love you, nigga. Yeah. That nigga ain't your homie. That nigga ain't your friend. And I, I was like, man, you don't know what you're talking about. That's my best friend. No. And I just missed that nigga. My uncle, nigga, he kept it real with, with me. Like, yeah. that was my daddy. When right. I ain't had no daddies around, when I ain't had nobody, everybody abandoned me. You know, even when he kept it, like, you know, it was raw, uncut, and I appreciate him. I love that nigga for that. And now when I be raising my sons, when they be like, you being too hard. Yeah, I know the difference between being too hard and the difference between you being a mama or they auntie or they like, you know, nah, I got, you know, y'all not going to understand. Like I said earlier about the being the bad guy. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to eat this right now and fuck what y'all saying and thinking and this my nigga and this is what this gonna be right now. Hopefully I ain't making like we say the bad, uh, you know, doing, we learn later on, like, you know, mm -hmm. it wasn't the right choice, mm -hmm. but right now, nigga, nah, this is what this gonna be. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. You have to stick to that sometimes, yeah. you know, and uh, yeah, I appreciate my Uncle Ricky, you know. That, yeah, yeah. Sure. Rest in peace, man. Yeah, for real, he just died like two years ago. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can make it quick, man. I, I need my granny now. <clears throat> That's, I, I need that, especially right now. It's, it's so much going on in my life, and I just, I, I need that comfort. I don't need to get deep, but that's why I bring back, and, and that's why. Go ahead, right. Um, For me, I would just say my granny, in the sense of, my mom, not for me. I mean, my granny was, you know, my granny was my granny, but I think my mom was more lost than anything else. But her her rock was my granny. And I think, uh, I would say my granny as well. Her mother, I would say her, my mom's mother. Cause she, she's the one who settled her down and, and, and that was my mom's rock. I would say my granny. <sighs> yeah, uh, man. It's, it's hard to pick just one. I think we all feel that yeah, way. for real. Because um, we all lost a lot of special people. Um, I'm going to say my brother because, um, you know, when you, when you have a sibling, it's like you never think, you know, your sibling is going to go early. You feel like you see y'all grown and you see y'all all, like, you know, I see yeah. me taking my kids to my, my sibling, my brother's houses and all our kids being together yeah. and stuff like that. So you never think that'll happen. Um And I just feel like he had a lot more to do. Like, I mean, he had a lot more to do and a lot more life to live. And he, he died at 42. Like, I'm, uh, I believe he was 42, 40, and I'm 41 now. So, yeah, I just feel like he had a lot more life to live and a lot more to give. And he, he had a mission, man, since he was like 13. He was preaching gospel. He was always going into the in, into no, to word and stuff and preaching and doing all that. And, yeah, I just feel like he had a lot more to give. And his kids is out here, you know, um, he got three kids. Two sons, one daughter, love them to death. Um, but you know, I know they need their father, so I, I, I'll say my. Um, right. and he was, and he stayed with my granny, so he kind of an extension of my granny. But he was no, you know, that's my older I brother, remember. my oldest yeah, brother. I and I mean, yeah, yeah. So you know, uh, I say if I had to, if I had to bring somebody back, um, which I know God don't make mistakes, and God, right. you know, he he calls people home when he's ready for them. But you know, that'd be hard too, cause you like, damn, why him? Like, man, right. it's like it's so yeah. much stuff going on in the world, and so many mm -hmm. people that's. If you got somebody that's trying to trying to do good and trying to do the right thing and spread the message and I mean from the everywhere every like if you've been to church in LA even on the East Coast and and 
Midwest, they know my brother. It's a lot of people that I seen somebody mm. like on our post that's friends with my brother. I'm like, damn, they friends with my that's I mean, crazy. it's like, you know, and I know if they knew like, oh, oh, that's his little brother. I mean, they you know, but right. but I'm just saying, like, it's it's I know people don't even know like that's my brother. I had a lot, he, he right. touched a lot of people. So right. yeah, man. Love my brother to death, man. Uh rest in peace. So yeah, if I could yeah. if I could bring back somebody, it would be him, man. And um let him let him continue to do what he was doing, you know? It's crazy when you said, like, he touched a lot of people. It made me think of, like, when my uncle, you know, before he died, I had seen a video of him, you know, when he was out, like, feeding the homeless and stuff. He was out there in the rain, passing out boxes. And, and I didn't even learn a lot until after he had passed, and it hurt my feelings because I didn't be more close to him than I felt like I should have been. Like, he was uh, doing toy drives out of his own money, 500 kids getting Christmas gifts and shit like that. Yeah, like, that's hard. And that just make, you know, that's something I always wanted to do. And then I just keep talking about it, like, you know, and I just I just really want to just step out and venture out and start doing Were that. Were you named after him? Uh, yes and no. My dad's name was Ricky, too. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Three we Rickies, should, we three should definitely do that, man. Because I, I, I've been thinking about that. So many years yeah. I've been like, and I'll be telling my kids, we gonna, we're yeah. going to go out on Thanksgiving or we're going to do nah, this. And I feel like it, we man, need all to. That, all that we can't, we got to just do it and stop just talking do about it. We got to yeah. do it. Even I mean, if we start small, it's still something. I feel like, I feel something. like we still could put together. Somebody. We could, and we could do a one Most thing. So, like, yeah. Yeah. We could yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. And we we could go buy. I mean, we shit. We ain't got. Even if we lie, make we the sandwiches, people be doing that. That's it. That's man. better than nothing. Let's do yeah. that. Let's you know do what I'm saying? Man. Sandwich, water, some chips. Yeah, yeah. for real. Let's for do real. it. Cause, you know, just something, man. Right. We care about the people over here, man. We love the people. You know. Uh, yeah, y'all damn near I damn near dropped a tear. Y'all almost had me. That's, right. that's, why I had to make, that's why I had to make it short, man. I, yeah. I, I can't y'all do almost it. Had I, me. Do I, it. I, I was gonna say my grandmama too. That's why yeah. I was like, that was a like little, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you gotta think about it, you know, what do you call it? The matriarch? Uh, yeah, right. Her yeah. family and mm-hmm. she kept everybody together. You gotta think mm-hmm. this woman had like 13 kids and mm-hmm. she was cooking for all these people. Mm-hmm. And so I know it's getting deep and I'm getting yeah. on. So even when you be in a relationship or you see other relationships, it be kind of hard to let fuck shit go by because you didn't see your grandma be so strong and hold so many people together. Yeah. So when a female come and she come with this bullshit, like little like, what? You can't yeah. do this because you got two kids, right? right. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what? That's why I'm not. That's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> and then you gotta be in that and so we gotta kinda be a little sensitive though, like yeah. because we, you know, we are being a little insensitive by like Cause you know they can't have they they That's not the same as grandmamas is back then you know they they was also raised and brought up to be that way not saying that well a lot of women these days haven't been it's but i'm just saying it's not the same it's well not they the they same. mamas start changing and became independent now it's yeah. like they're right independent daughters. right and, and like, the grandma was raised as and not to even say their mom is telling them do this do that but it's just what they seeing they seeing yeah. their mama struggle seeing their mama yeah. fight with men and go yeah. through a man so it's like i ain't mm-hmm. about to yeah no. Yeah, you know I mean, so yeah. I get it, man. No, but um, it. so good peoples, man. Y'all, uh, yeah. y'all leave it in the comment. Let us know who would y'all bring back and why. Yeah, we would like to know a little feedback just to get a little conversation started. So yeah, for real, you know. definitely. Yeah. yeah, man. So you know, this was a uh, dope episode, man. Appreciate my nigga Ricky coming, pulling up, Ricky! man. Tapping in with us. Uh, <laughs> tap in again, man. Yeah, Anybody yeah. else that want to tap in with us, man? Come this through. Is, it's episode 29. Should I you know? be here more? You know, I got a lot going on. Yeah, I got yeah, eight kids. A thousand yeah. kids. Yeah. I work with kids. Right. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, sheesh. It's all good, man. Uh, mm-hmm. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel, man. Uh, right. Share the channel. Comment, uh, put your share. notification bell on so it can let you know. Because even outside of uh, outside of the actual uh, main podcast, we do do clips and stuff. And we will premiere to let you know when we're doing clips and stuff like that. If you yeah. can't even watch the whole video. But uh, every Thursday's at 6 p.m., man. Shout us uh, out. Shout one thing for show, yeah. yeah. Talk to us. Show. We and love we'll, talking, especially me. Yeah. We'll see y'all next week, man, for episode 30. One thing for show, you know what I mean? Hey. We Thank out. y'all for having me.